Oh my gosh, Travel are going crazy to create a god. We're creating gods? Yo, she's fighting all of them? The character designs are going crazy, bro. God dang. Oh my gosh, look at us, bro. What's good, y'all? Welcome back. I'm Gerada, and I'm here to do version trailers part two. Last video, you know, it was a little light, you know, nothing super crazy. Plus, I wasn't even that energetic with it. Um, you know, I was a little tired and whatnot. Today, I'm feeling fully energized, and we are here to get version trailers part two going. Uh, I ain't got nothing to say. Last ones, like I said, a little light. I like them all still, but nothing super crazy. I'm hearing that, you know, once we get to these later ones, it's going to be super good. So, I'm excited. Let's go ahead and hop straight into this. Before we hop into this, actually, let me know in the comments down below which trailers are the ones I should be reacting to for the animated shorts. Because I could not find a playlist for the for all the animated shorts. Maybe I just gotta go back and find them myself. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I'm blind. But yeah, let me know. First one we got though is version 3.0, The Morn, A Thousand Roses Brains. A thousand Roses, interesting, okay. Have you heard of Ermin's Soul before? No, I have not. The oh, that tree! The Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. The Dendro Archon. she disappeared in a great calamity a few hundred years ago. Okay. The sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. It's Lesser Lord Kusanelli's birthday. Mila's Yo. dance of Subzerus is about to begin. The most important performance at the Subzerus Festival. Dance of Subzerus. The flowers began to dance. Countless beautiful Parisars began to bloom wherever she stepped. Oh, that looks crazy good. And the oh, music. Tiny people compared to the divine. We still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. Okay, still celebrating her birthday. The stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. I can't wait for you to see it. Yo, look at us traveling through. Oh, this area looks so much fun. Yo, music's good again. I can tell we got we got that Sumero vibe, bro. We got that Sumero vibe. The withering has been recorded in Sumero for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. From the depths of the world. Okay. The Rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time. The withering zones. Oh. The in the rainforest are already in decline. Okay, I remember you. So the Withering Zones look like a bunch of like, you know, polluted areas or corrupted areas. Yo. Bro, all the abilities in this game are crazy cool. It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of greater lord Ruka Devata. You may use an Akasha to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. Yo. The Divine Knowledge Capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Divine Use Knowledge it, Capsule? And you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. I need you to find someone, a traveling merchant. Yo, Dory. She's supposed to be like the genie type of character, it seems like. Bro, the music, what the heck is this? Oh yeah, you already know. There's so much happening. You all saw that just now? The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Oh? Maybe they see Lesser Lord Kusanelli's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukadavata's death. How did you say that so perfectly? Who could have ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities what? in this land of knowledge and reason? Spider Golem? This device, it's extracting energy from the ley line. It looks like he used the divine knowledge capsule. Oh. The Sub Zero's festival. Boss? Go celebrate the birth of that god. What's happening? Oh, come on, come on. Oh, no. God created the utopia. City for all scholars who sought validity. Why are we starting off on a freaking a hundred? It would be too risky to continue the Subzeros Festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. I'm gonna love Sumeru. They just disappeared. The dance, though. Are you 
really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? And we're back to the tree. That tree has to be like the world forget me. The morn a thousand roses brings. All right, bro. We're starting off on a hundred, on a thousand, bro. Oh my gosh. If this is what I have to look forward to this entire video, we're gonna be here a while, bro. I gotta go back and dissect some things. That looks so crazy. I know I said I didn't wanna, you know, look too deep into it last video, but nah, we're doing it, bro. Cause these, that was too good not to. We got Graven Innocence. Looks like we're fighting a little bit. Got some landers and whatnot. Grove Dash, another little event. Looks like you're gonna be going with the wings, I assume. The glider. Or no, you're just collecting coins. Okay, Mario. <laughs> uh, we're fighting this weird new creature. Interesting. Tablet analytics? Not exactly sure what that's all about. Maybe it's just another, like, you know, you're choosing certain buffs and then fighting enemies, looks like, maybe. Okay. It's cool to see all the different characters and their abilities in these little, uh, videos right here, though. Lost Riches. In the wilderness of Sumeru, a person named Oman seems to be troubled by something. Wonderful. Well, not wonderful for him, but I mean, <laughs> y'all know what I meant. <laughs> Ooh, I like this music. That, is that a, that is a saxophone, right, that I'm hearing? Not right here. Right there. Oh, I love that. Are we taking pictures and fighting like that? What the heck? Ley line overflow again. Is it like they always have a ley line overflow the moment that you get a uh, another update? Is that true? All the new weapons. Nothing too crazy about those. I mean, they all look sick, though. In fact, I mean, I might go for those ones over everything I've seen so far. I gotta say, hold up. Before we go back, I'm about to go back and, and re-watch this and probably dissect a little bit. This is a long one, though. Six minutes, bro? Yeah, we're gonna be here for like three hours at least, bro, for this video. That was incredible. The fact that we started off like that, Sumeru gotta be like probably my favorite area so far. Fontaine, you know, looked as far as I've seen so far with the character trailers and all that stuff, seemed like it was like super good as well. But I don't know, Sumeru just... Oh, yeah, that was crazy. Sumeru gotta be probably my favorite location. Arlecano and Candice, bro. Probably my two favorite characters so far in this game, based off the trailers I've seen and everything, so... Let's rewind this and uh, look a little bit more into it. Have you heard of Soul before? Soul was the first thing talked about. And then we got this tree, bro. This tree looks... Fantastic, actually. <laughs> I would... I, if I was in this area... Like, whether it's in the game or in real life, if it was in real life, bro, it'd be GG's for me. It'd be over. But if I was in the area and I saw this tree, I would literally just sit there admiring it for, like, a, like days. I wouldn't go eat or drink water, bro. I would probably just sit there staring at this tree the whole time because it just looks so beautiful. But they talked about the Dendro Archon as well, the God of Wisdom. So I'm assuming the Dendro Archon is obviously going to be the... Archon, Archon in Sumeru. The God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. Because her... Okay, so in Immers, whatever you call it. Have you heard of Soul before? Ermansoul. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. Okay, so she's the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is connected to the Soul. Is the Ermansoul supposed to be this tree maybe? Like this is like a tree of knowledge then? To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Power and kindness, and love it. She disappeared in a great calamity a few hundred years ago. Love the way they did the little transition right there. It was like super like, you know, dramatic, uh, climactic and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, so apparently she disappeared because of a calamity. I wonder if she's going to be coming back though. Or maybe she's one of the characters I already seen. The sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. Okay, okay, so that's what I missed. I did, I did not hear that part the first time watching, so, um... Is she supposed to be the Dendro Archon, or is like the light she's holding maybe? Because they said that while they're showing her in this. That's our Lord Cusinelli's birthday. Milu's Dance of Subzerus is about to begin. The most important performance at the Subzerus Festival. Milu's Dance of Subzerus is the most important one of the festival. I wonder why. So maybe not, because that's Nilu, right? The one we were just looking at, the redhead. The goddess of flowers began to dance. Countless beautiful Parisars began to bloom more. Yo, look at this, bro. Yeah, this, 
If this is what I have to look forward to in Sumeru, oh, I gotta get to Sumeru immediately. The gameplay for this game will be coming um, within the next week, probably, a week or two. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna take my time with these videos for this, so it may not be super consistent um, when I upload for y'all, but uh, at the very least, you know, the video should be consistent quality and everything that I hope. This area just looks so great, bro. This is bringing the vibes back. I was a little bit, you know, down with the last video. I was like, okay, we're, we're back in Mondstadt, Liyue, Inazuma, nothing too crazy. And then 3.0 just hit us, bro, like a freaking truck. Wherever she stepped. Oh, what are these things on the, on the tree? Just tiny people compared to the divine. We're just tiny people compared to the divine. Hold up, go back. Yeah, I don't know what these things right here are. They look cool though. But then this giant freaking golem, maybe? It looks like it has an arm, so I'm assuming like those golems that you fight normally, but like a freaking humongous version of one. Though we're just tiny people compared to the divine, we still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. The birthday girl? What is this little hut, bro? This remind me of uh uh Kenna Bridge of Spirits, if y'all ever played that game. The stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. I, I can't bet. Wait for you to see it. And then look at us going through that area. Hold up, go back, go back. Festival time. I can't wait for you to see it. This is just done so well. Normally, like you know, little like damp areas like this. This makes me just feel like you know. I guess the term just feel like damp to me. Uh, don't always kind of suit me. But the way they've lit it up and everything like that, the way it just like opens up into this other area, this little rocky area in the back. I don't know. They did it so well that I just want to explore it now. And then this right here, bro? Oh my gosh. We're gonna be here a minute, y'all. I'm sorry. And then we got Cole right here. Uh, nothing too much about her. I don't think we've seen her before. And y'all did mention that we won't see a character demo for every single character in the game. So I'm assuming, I think she's one of the ones we haven't seen before. So Cole, four star to grow is to conquer the past. Lovely. Okay, Bow user, okay. Whoa, 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 what is it? Boomerang? I was I was literally thinking about that last video. Um, After I finished the last video and I was editing a little bit, I was like, I wonder if you ever have like a boomerang character. Like how would you, how would that work? That looked like a freaking boomerang bow. A little critter. AOE damage I'm assuming. And then the withering. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It originates from the depths of the world. From the depths of the world. So the withering seems like it's something big where, like, you know, obviously the land is corrupted. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time. Yeah, look at this. The, the contrast from this to what we saw earlier with the, uh, uh, like all the greenery, the mushrooms, all that stuff, the caverns. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline. And then Tinari. I think we've seen them before, didn't we? Was it, didn't he have a trailer? Maybe not. I had to blow my nose for a second, bro. Why can my nose not run? Can it not run, bro? I would like to just be immersed in this. Go back. Because the music going crazy Go again. Yeah, he got a bow again. Same old, same old. It's called an Akasha Terminal. Akasha Terminal? It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Luca Devata. I don't know how y'all say that word perfectly every time, but because I hear you say it, I can do it too. Ruka Devata. Got you. Way easier than uh, how I was trying to pronounce Arlecchino. Uh, Arlecchino, yo, bro. <laughs> uh, but okay, so uh, whatever he just said is a tool produced by Academia, which we've seen is... I forget if Academia was the name of the other guy or if the title of the other guy who I said looked like Dr. Ratio or back and forth. Al, Al Haytham was his name. So maybe not? I, I don't know. He was like a, a person involved with academia. So there was like a, a group maybe that Al Haytham was involved with. So they, and then that group produced this tool. You may use an Akasha terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. Yeah, so it has to be with Al Haytham. The divine knowledge capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. And then this right here, the divine knowledge capsule. Use it and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. That's gotta have some drawbacks, bro. There's no way you just get the wisdom of the gods for free. I need you to find someone, a traveling merchant. What kind of products do you seek, my dear customers? The music, bro. The little genie music. Here's the goods. Get to see her Dory go in action a little bit. 
Oh yeah, what the heck was that? Hold on, before, before we get to that. Now, last video, I saw one of, I saw one of the comments y'all said about how uh, the tree right here and the monolith, all that stuff, is like the ley line, like the domains that you go into and fight. I don't know why I didn't remember that. I always see them and they look different, so I thought that they were like different locations you're going to, which technically they are, but they're just the domains. So it's not like they have too much to do with the story most of the time, I'm assuming. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why I didn't piece that together. I didn't I didn't remember that, you know, there's the domains in the game and that they all look the same like this with the tree, which is the ley line every single time. Big outside of the city is being hidden on purpose. And then, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. She said what? Really so something big outside of the city is being hidden. Like outside big of the city. Of the city is being hidden on purpose. And then what is this, bro? Freaking cockatrice? The heck from uh, uh, Final Fantasy? Hold up. Suffer retribution together. So many things happening here, bro. You all saw that just now? The Nihilu? The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. The Grand Sage? Maybe they see Lesser Lord Kusanelli's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukadavata's death. Rukadavata? They said that so quick? Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless ideas? This thing, bro. Okay, hold up. Let's go back a little bit. First off, this area looks cool. I like it. Nothing too, it's not too big, sadly. I wish there was a lot more to it. I love the design they have for this. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous- And then this freaking Listen. spider golem mech thing, bro. Terrifying. Meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason. I wouldn't be. This area looks beautiful. I would love to keep pursuing it. It's extracting energy from the ley line. It looks like he used the divine knowledge capsule. Yeah, okay, so... That device we just saw is taking energy from the ley line, and then this creature, I'm assuming it's the creature, because they're all backing away from it, and it's, like, moving forward. I think that creature that we saw is, like, locking on to us, and whoever that is, I can't remember who you are, or I don't know who you are. One of the two. The sub -Zeru's Festival. Boss? Go celebrate the birth of that god. That Yo! Oh, Created the utopia of this Sumeru city for all scholars who sought validity, verity, and truth. So Sumeru is the location or the or the region of knowledge. I mean, they did say that in the beginning, which makes sense. But like, so the Archon made this area for researchers and geniuses and stuff like that. Well, people like you wish to define it. We'll see who's right and who's wrong. What is this though? The Subzeros Festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. Who was that? Who was that? Nah, we ain't gonna bypass that. Is that Nahida? I might be wrong. I can't tell though. Is Nahida the Archon? I think somebody said Nahida is an Archon. So is Nahida the Archon that was born? Because they said that they were reborn. So she must be the, the reborn Archon of Sumeru then. I think somebody did tell me though that, that Nahida is an Archon. Which is a bit of a spoiler, because I didn't know that. They didn't have any sort of, like, indications that she was. Are you really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? Golly, and then everything comes back to the tree. The world forget. Yo. Oh my gosh, that was crazy good, bro. That was a crazy good start. I'm glad that we started off like that too. If we started off slow, I would have been so kind of like in a, in a lull a little bit, but no, that was perfect. That was a perfect start. In fact, that was too perfect of a start because now I've spent 20 minutes on the first one and we still got like 30 more, bro. Good Lord. Okay, from now on, we're not going to be pausing super much like that because we got so many left. I say that, but I mean, 3.1 is just a, or not 3.1, Sumeru is just a whole different freaking beast, bro. Switching over from Inazuma and all the other ones to Sumeru, and then we're gonna get the Fontaine and Natlon. I say I'm not gonna pause a lot, but, uh, but we're on to 3.1 now. We got King Deshre, I think, or Desheret, one of the two, uh, and the three Maggie. I had the same question every time I walked this way when I was a kid. Ooh, Why go. is this high wall here? Sand and scorpion? Can a wall really block sandstorms? You got a dragon? It was only after I grew up that I realized it serves a more important purpose. Keeping out people like us. Keeping you 
out. We've waited a long oh. time for this day to come. Fate has finally dealt me a hand to play against the Academia. Yo, so they're going against the Academia, whoever we're talking about, whoever we're talking. The Scarlet talking. King can truly change Sumeru for the better. The Scarlet the King is King Desiree. The Scarlet King will only result in war. And war serves no one. Yo. Yo, y'all already know it's my girl. Hold up. A shield is not enough to protect the most important things. That's why I must also wield a spear. Spear and shield, I love it. You gotta be my at least in the very least top three favorite characters. Top two, horse. probably. Grant us your blessing. Yo. She going crazy. You Music to bop too. Oh? Don't do anything until I've gotten to the bottom of this. My boy with the dad Try jokes. Something foolish, and even Candace won't be able to protect you. Dang, I do sound epic. Hmm. Is it going crazy? Oh my gosh, alligator! Through me, justice is served. <laughs> His abilities are dope. Should speak up and let our voices be heard. Nilu doing the dance for the festival. <laughs> All the graceful characters, bro. What can I say? <laughs> All eyes on me. All lies are on you. When you got moves like Life that. Life for the desert dwellers has been brutal ever since the Scarlet King's death all those years ago. Feelings Ooh. of desperation are widespread. Traitors are what us followers of the Scarlet King despise the most. Oh my gosh. We should be revealing our whereabouts to the academia. Dea? I think that's what her name was, right? Yo. Oh, that creature looks sick. Oh. No, no, no. Okay, I said I wasn't going to pause, bro, but hold up. Bro. This creature has got to be my favorite design so far for like the, the what we've seen like the normal enemies. Obviously, we've seen like the Leviathan or like the, the deers and all that stuff. But no, this right here is like a normal just it, he looks like a, a normal boss enemy we're going to be fighting. I don't know. Th this thing looks crazy cool. Hold up. Like it has like the wings or whatever powering it a little bit. Even in the wings aren't even attached to it. It's like a gravitational pull or something. I, I don't know, bro. Okay, okay. We're not pausing. We're not pausing. Answer me this. Did the sages share any information about their project with you? We're cheap labor. Livestock, but easier to control. But easier Nothing to control? More. That's foul. <laughs> My experiment is a success. Oh? And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. That was the villain back there. <laughs> <laughs> she got stabbed there is no need to fear the pain will be brief your era is coming to an end we got the wanderer bro hat guy as y'all call him <laughs> oh that looked incredible hold up oh we got more we got more i'm about to pause I am Mika, surveyor of the Reconnaissance Company. I will now be reading Grandmaster Varka's letter aloud for you all. Okay, we're back in Monstat. Does Mondstadt. this mean the Grandmaster knew Razor's parents? Maybe. Fill up the barrels and store them away. Okay. Then wait, wait for a windier day. Bars. Wax the bottles, seal them. Okay, hold up. That's Deluke, is it not? Wasn't he older? Did something happen and he just got like regressed to like a, a teenager, bro? What? I, 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 you know what? I don't know. Tight for the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. Mars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at us. Dear friends, let us now open the wines to the Animal Archon. Okay. That was a whole crazy switch up. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let this play right here in the background. I see, you know, we're fighting a freaking giant boar, snow boar. 
Um, that one was crazy. It seems like we're getting introduced to some of the villains, though, for the, uh, Sumeru region, which is great to see. But is the hat guy a villain? He might be, because Ryan, Ryan uh, Shogun, I think, or Ryan May, whatever the name was, I can't remember right now. Uh, she seemed like we were fighting her, like she was the villain in, uh, Inazuma, possibly, so... And somebody, and y'all were saying in the in the comments that, like, they have some sort of connection or something, so... Interesting. But we got some more little events going on here. Uh, Hayakuni and Iki. Oh, Hayakuni and Iki is the, um... Wasn't that supposed to be, like, the tournament thing with, uh... What was his name? The the freaking... I can't remember, the, the, the doll-looking dude? Aratik, Arataki Iki or something like that? More coin collecting. Super Mario Bros over here. Fighting more of these dudes. I'm actually really excited to get into this game again. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I know that y'all said it's gonna be a lot, oh, at least one or two of y'all said it's gonna be a lot of talking, a lot of yapping. That's fine, that's fine. I know it's gonna make it a, a lot more uh, slow for me a little bit, but uh, we'll still go through with it. I'm gonna see how I do Mondstadt, Liyue, and Inazuma, considering I have some knowledge to it still. Yeah, that was crazy, bro. Let's go back. I'm not gonna dissect a lot here. I'm probably skip through this one a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this one right here was just, was like, not as good as 3.0, but pretty close. I, I think 3.0, I still liked a little bit better than 3.1, but they're like neck and neck a little bit. 3.0 is just a tiny bit over it right now for me. Starting off in the desert like I had this, bro. I the same bro. question every time I walked this way when I was a kid. And this little freaking sand scorpion that I was talking about, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a fan of, like, scorpions or insects and all that stuff. Like, you know, spiders and whatnot. Some people are terrified of them. I have friends who are terrified of them. But this one right here, little sand scorpion looking guy, kind of cool. I'd probably have him as a pet. And then I'd probably die. Why is this high wall here? And can a wall really block sandstorms? And then we got that dragon. It was only after I grew up that I realized it serves a more important purpose. Look at this desert, bro. Look, you could not have me walking through this desert, even though I live in a desert, bro. <laughs> I say that, but I live in a desert right now, literally. So, like, Keeping not, not like this, obviously, though. Out people like us. Yo, and we got the dragon flying towards whatever this freaking pyramid statue thing is. I don't know, freaking mechanism. We've waited a long time. That image is crazy. And whoever this dude is here approaching it, Maybe he's the villain, I don't know. For this day to come. Fate oh, he's gotta be the villain. Has finally dealt me a hand to play against the academia. Yo, and there's like Egyptian type of tombs. The resurrection? I, I forgot exactly what y'all said. It was like, like the Sumeru was based off of like Middle Eastern, or like East India, I think or something like that. If I remember correctly, I might be remembering wrong. But I think you guys are commenting saying that it was based off of those type of regions in real life, so... That's really cool, bro. I, I love how they have, like, the designs for all the tombs and all that stuff. Um, the coffins, all that stuff. What were they called? It starts with an S. It was, like, Sarophagus or something like that? I can't remember how you say it. ...that the Scarlet King can truly change Sumeru for the better? Yo. The resurrection of the Scarlet King will only result in war. And war serves no one. My girl Candace, bro. Y'all ain't got nothing on her. Why are you even trying it? A shield is not enough to protect the most important things. That's why I must also wield a spear. There she goes, bro. I gotta say, the first thing that got me hooked into this game again, into these trailers and reactions, was Candace, bro, and her trailer. That was the first thing that got me back into. They got me really immersed in this. You've betrayed Aru Village. Don't do anything. Until I've gotten to the bottom of this. Yo. Oh, it looks like he was Try jumping us, foolish. the traveler. And even Candace will be able to protect you. There he goes. The teller of dad jokes himself. Oh my gosh, hold up. Bring that back. That alligator, bro. Yeah, this freaking alligator creature the enemies in sumeru look so much cooler than any of the other enemies i've seen so far in these version trailers i gotta wait till we get to fontaine i think i remember fontaine had like those like robots or whatever you want to call them and then i don't know what natlon had i can't remember if they even showed any of the enemies there but yeah sumeru so far has the coolest enemy designs i've seen in the game through me 
justice is served. Yo, oh, he body in the alligator. If we're unhappy, we should speak up and let our voices be heard. Yes, ma'am. And then we got Nyalu doing her dance and everything with that. Nothing crazy the there. Dwellers has been brutal ever since the Scarlet King's death all those years ago. Okay. Feelings of desperation are widespread. Tra look at these areas, bro. These areas look cool. The last one looked cool. This one right here. You see the traveler down there too, going over here towards where this like isolated or desolated ruins or whatever, maybe. Traitors are what us followers of the Scarlet King despise the most. One of us could be secretly revealing our whereabouts to the academia. Oh, so somebody in our midst is a traitor. Yo, and then these crazy looking enemies, and then this enemy right here, yo, but they were talking about a traitor Answer being in their this. midst. If the sages share any information about their project, oh, we're cheap labor, livestock, but easier to control. Nothing. Hold up, hold up, go back, because yeah, this, these lines right here, bro, did the sages share any information about this project with you? Okay, that's something too crazy. Cheap. We're cheap labor, like livestock, but easier to control. Nothing more. That is a, that is ridiculous. Imagine if you, if, if somebody thought of you as lesser than livestock, you're not even as good as a freaking, as a sheep, bro. That's crazy. Labor, livestock, but easier to control. Nothing more. My experiment is a success. His experiment. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. Yo, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now up. it seems they can no longer hold back. This dude in the back seems like he's probably the main villain here. I don't know who you are. Your design looks cold, though. It looks clean. I give you that. But we probably gotta body you and put you in the ground, though. I don't know if we can do it, but we'll see when I start playing. Back their sheer adoration. Don't know who that was. Was that maybe Hat Guy? I don't know. And then, <laughs> yeah, this. <laughs> he couldn't make it in time. No need. That's gonna set him off, bro. I wonder if he has like a rage moment during that time. If that, if when I'm assuming that actually happens. And does the main character, the traveler, at their rage and like you know go crazy maybe and, and start bodying, bro? I, I don't know. Oh, this is gonna be so good and. I know that the, the main character in, um, like the, um, I forgot what you call them right now, but in, uh, Honkai Star Rail, the ca the main character you play as is, doesn't have too many voice lines. Is that the same case in Genshin Impact that the main character does talk, but just not very often, like only during certain cutscenes and all that stuff? Need to fear? The pain will be brief. And that guy in Your this era thing. is coming to an end. Bro, hold up. I'm gonna go back to that in a second. Look at this. You got Nahida on the right. You got the Wanderer hat guy on the left with the dude that I said was probably one of the villains as well. So maybe the, both of them seem like they're gonna be the villains here. That's gonna be crazy. And he has some sort of connection to Raiden Mei. I don't know how. I thought like in the last video for the version trailers that like he might be maybe like they are the same person maybe because they look really similar. But I don't think so. But I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're siblings. They're brother and sister, maybe. I Yo. And then, but we got Nahida in the in the far right. And because she's the biggest person here, yeah, yeah, she's the, she seems like she's the, uh, the Archon, the Dendro Archon that was reborn. And maybe they're trying to kill her? Or maybe, and like, she's supposed to be locked away based off of her character demo, so I don't know. Are we protecting her? Like I said, protect Nahida at all costs. I remember that. So maybe we're supposed to be protecting her or maybe we're supposed to be rescuing her from them. Either way, it looks crazy. And then go back real quick. Pain will be. Look at this freaking mecha that this dude is in. This intergalactic electro mecha, bro. Oh my gosh. Straight out of a mecha anime. I mean, we're literally in a mecha anime game. So you know what? Let me stop. That was stupid. <laughs> All right, that's it for this one. Moving on to the next one, because I'm spending way too much time on these. I'm having so much fun with this, though. Hold up. All right, we're on to 3.2. Akasha pulses, the Kalpa flame rises. Don't know what that means. We'll find out, hopefully. Imagine this. 
We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. We have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. I see it, okay. Huh? Did I just see something dart by? I think so. Maybe your eyes are playing tricks on you. Having though. the doctor gone benefits him as well as us. Oh, there he goes. And Nahida, what the heck? Amazing. Bro. So this is how it feels to walk out of that cage with my own body. Oh, so she gets freed at some point. Yeah. Well, I feel like she had to get freed at some point. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. Hey. Yo. Like I said, bro, protect hey, Nahida at all costs. I love the upbeat vibes though. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. What was that ability? Yeah. It's like a hopscotch ability, bro. Oh, that's cr that's cool. I like that. But now doesn't seem to be the time to indulge in this feeling. Aw, why not? Who were you again? I forgot. Is it too late for an extension? Lila, thank you. Hold up. Did they never give us a character demo for her? Lay for an extension. Oh no, we did get a we did get a, a, a character demo for her. She was always sleepy in hers, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that kind of sucked though. Imagine not being able to get no sleep. Not now. Stars shine for me. Okay. Oh, the music. Oh. oh. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. Who's that talking? So, you think this is over? Bro. Oh, wait. No. I can't. Who made her cry? No, no, no. Who made her cry? You're going six feet under whoever made her cry. That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth of this world. The Balladeer became a god? No wonder your own people have abandoned you, god of wisdom. Oh, this dude is like an actual ultimate villain. What is this mech? At my command, you shall fall. This dude my looks OP. Cycle begins. Your ploy was to sacrifice the traveler here, was it not? Nilu, are you sure about this? I can't say Nilu. You're taking Nilu. such a great risk for them. My bad, y'all. So Nilu's gonna take a I, risk. I must admit that I'm a little scared, but I'll try my best for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Okay. The booty though. Ethan's plan is even more radical than I imagined. Brothers, let's show them we Aramites are not to be messed with. This is Al Hytham's plan. Bizarre. You betrayed all of Sumeru. Betrayed its Archon. Oh my gosh, Traveler going crazy. Creating a god. We are using human wisdom to create a god. We're creating gods? We enact a scene of the Archon War. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. Bro. Bro, bro, you can't start playing this goofy music and these little freaking events after that. What did I just see? So hat guy, wanderer, whatever he, whatever you want to call him, is becoming a god? That looks so crazy. The fight looked crazy. The mecha thing, god, whatever you want to call him that he turned into looked insane. The traveler was putting in work, running up the arms and slashing down, bro. Oh my goodness, that Sumeru's gonna be my favorite location, bro, hands down. Fontaine might actually do better, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Story-wise, maybe, but like, I, I, I don't know, Sumeru just looks so crazy. Like, it's just up, it's just all my vibe. Holy crap, alright, let's get into this goofy stuff real quick. <laughs> T 
Total number of fungi, one of two. You just get rid of fungi. Fabulous fungus frenzy. Okay. What the heck are these? Jello? Switch two jellos to make it match. They got so many creative events, bro. I don't know how you think about all this. Okay. Interesting, nothing too crazy, just fighting. Uh, outside the canvas, inside the lens, greenery chapter. Oh, more pictures and photography. Yeah, look at these areas, bro. These areas look so much fun to explore. Oh, hold up. Okay, hold up. Go back, go back. When did they switch the music up from, from the freaking goofy bop comedy music to this freaking epic? Like, uh, I don't even know what you want to call this, bro. Yeah, bro, this right here is a, a bop now. Oh my gosh, hypostatic symphony, dissonant, dissonant verse, adventurous trials, all these different events, bro. Are we playing soccer? I know we was fighting somebody right there, but it looked like a soccer field. A thousand floating dreams, new weapon? That's a whole lantern, or lamp. Is that supposed to be for the genie girl, Dory? Oh my gosh, that one was... Bro, I, <laughs> I want to go back and start looking into this again, but I know that we're going to be at like an hour with just three of these, and we've still got like 20 more. Oh, the dilemma, bro. Now we're going back, we're going back. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. Yep. We have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. My only, my main question right now is who is Kusanali? Have we seen him already and I just don't know who it is because I'm just like, I'm being dumb? Or, or, or what? I don't know. Huh? Did I just see something dart by? Yeah, I love the, oh, we have all the Having good the vibes Dr. right Gone here. benefits him as well as us. The heat of getting freed and everything, yes. Amazing. So this is how it feels to walk out of that cage with my own body. Oh, I didn't even realize. Now that I'm hearing it again, this music, isn't this the same music that we were hearing for her character demo as well? Or like, not the same, but it sounds like it's a little bit different, like more like an 8-bit version. Or maybe that one was 8-bit as well. I can't remember exactly right now. But it, it, it definitely sounds similar. Yeah. Bro, bro, look at her just playing hopscotch with the enemies. Hold up. Hopscotch of death. Photography of death. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't see that before. What is this? Is this her ability, bro? What? Did she just summon a whole chapel? Bro. What is this ability? I did not notice that before. Yeah, then we get to a little more, you know, sad vibes. It starts getting sadder. Is it too late for an extension? This girl over here putting in work overtime because she can never sleep, probably. Stars, shine for me. And the music. Oh. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. Okay. So, you think this is over? Okay, he got a bunch of wires put into his back. That's crazy. Hold up. So, you got five, six, seven? And then I think it's, I think it's, I think it's six, bro. Why? I mean, he wants to become a god, it seems like, so good lord. You think this is over? What is his goal, though? Like, besides oh, becoming a god, just to become a god, that's it? No. Yeah, we gotta body them for making her cry. That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth of this world. The secret hidden by it. The truth of the world, okay. The Valadir has already... already become a... 
Look at him. He like changed. He like drained the color. He's back into like the black and white. I wonder if that's like an actual thing that's happening in the game, like with like with the story. Like he's like the cut. Like the, there's no color with him, or if that's just like a, you know a thematical choice. I'm not sure. The ballad deer has already, already become a god. The ballad deer became a god. No wonder your own people have abandoned you, god of wisdom, bro. And he's freaking suiting up. Bro, look at that. Oh, he had four arms? I didn't even realize that before. I thought he only had two arms, bro. Four arm mecha monstrosity, bro. And then look at all the abilities. You shall fall. How do you even fight this thing? Your ploy was to sacrifice the traveler here. Let me know how hard how hard was that fight, bro? Are you sure about this? You're taking such a great risk for them. And then Milu, doing something risky. I, I must admit that I'm a little scared. Look at that! No, 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 no! Go back! I, I must admit that I'm a little scared. Bro, bro! Epic design, bro. But I'll try my best for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Alhitham's plan is even more radical than I imagined. Okay, Alhitham's plan is even more radical than I imagined. Maybe he was talking about Alhitham concocting a plan because he's one of the geniuses. So I don't see why he would be a villain unless he's unless he decided that he wanted to turn against them for some reason. So maybe his plan is supposed to be for them to counteract the villains. Brothers, let's show them we Aramites are not to be messed with. Okay. Yo, and the Wait, traveler so putting in work right here. Azar. Traveler going crazy and then the freaking creating a god. We are using human wisdom to create a god. I mean like brought what out stars. The scene of the Archon War. The god scene of the Archon War. By birth as a god. Yo. Hold up, hold up. Before we get into this last scene, let me let me run that back. What did he say of all this again? Oh, the music is just creating a god. Creating a god, we are using human wisdom to create a god. We are using human And look at all these stars, like like his ability, like he created like stars. Like he literally created stars to come down and rain upon you as an as an attack. Wisdom to create a god. Okay. Let us reenact Let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Where we have Archons. The Archons are gods, right? So the Archons fighting against each other so he's trying to reenact something like that bro the scene of the archon war come and inaugurate my birth as a god i'm good buddy we're gonna stop you maybe maybe look at this bro maybe i don't know who was over there is it just us is that is that uh is that nilu is that nahida i can't tell who that is down there bro Yeah, Sumeru looks like it's about to be incredible. All right, we got 3.3 now. All sense is clear, all existence void. Now they've hit us with like three back to back to back insanely amazing trailers. Obviously they gotta they gotta mess up somewhere, right? They, they gotta mess up somewhere. They, they can't just have, you know, another, another one, bro. They can't just keep obviously always having peak, bro, right? There's no way, there's no way. A friendly word of advice. Test of courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. Oh my gosh. So please, be sure to exercise caution. Ah! Why did that actually get me? <laughs> Why did that actually get me? I'm disappointed in myself. Do y'all want to see me play a horror game? Now that we see, now that this just happened, bro? Let me know if y'all want to see me play like Little Nightmares or something like that. I'd be down to play Little Nightmares. I don't know if y'all ever care about those games or not. Okay, bro. So please, be sure to exercise caution. Go ahead again. Ah! Yep. <laughs> How was that? Were you scared? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Who goes there? So, oh. is there really a ghost around here? Oh, why this time I have a feeling that it's staring right at us? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Hold up. 
Hold up, hold up. I forgot, I was gonna mention this at the beginning of the video. Y'all, uh, how did I forget about this? I, I asked y'all to rate Paimon as a travel companion on a scale of 1 to 10, and I forgot that there was a freaking moment in the beginning of the game and everybody was in the comments answering emergency food. <laughs> I'm like, how did I forget about that, bro? I sh Oh, that would have been a great joke in the moment, bro. Just saying that she was emergency food, bro. Oh my gosh. Are you talking to me? Bro! Bro! Oh, and this dude Jester, again. Jester, I have completed the task you gave me. From Jester. this day forth, Balladeer and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Oh? Did you really think you would be able to see through my plan? Uh, maybe. Dottore. All these different names. <laughs> Dottore. What is happening? In that case, I'll take some time for myself now. Wanderer. Hold up. Squall Fury. You dare to gaze upon me? Oh my gosh, bro. They did it. They've done it. They've done it. Another one, bro. Another one. Back to back to back to back, bro. All of these are incredible. You know what? Go back real quick. Anything about him? No one heart, no all hearts. Eons adrift, wanderer, nothing new, nothing new. But look at the freaking background with him. Oh, I love this. This character looks insane. Y'all say he's the only person in the game to this date still who can fly, right? Yo. Oh my gosh. Squall Fury. His abilities, bro. You, you see him flying around. Me? The kick, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Faruzan? I can't even focus on her abilities, bro. Stop. I know she was a bow user. Look cool. The mere fact of your utility does not make you indestructible. Oh? All sense is clear. All existence void. It looks like maybe he was losing his heart right there. Hold up. Scaramouche. Scaramouche. Is that his name? Scaramouche? The mere fact of your utility does not make you indestructible. Oh, that was epic. And then you see whatever that is right there looks like it's going into his heart or maybe that is his heart. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh, bro. And then we got the abilities. Okay, let's chill out. Let's chill out for a minute because that one was crazy. Uh, Akitsu Kimo Damash Dameshi. Oh, it looks like, uh, 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 what do you call this game? Why can't I remember any old school games right now? I've played this game before. I just can't remember what it is right now. Oh, that's dope. I like that. All right. It is more of this. Are you supposed? To, are you meant to defeat the the monster right there shooting at you? Yeah, it has like a health bar. Oh, it looks really cool. I like that. It shows that we have two people, Toma and Kamitsu or Ayaka. Were they playing like co-op right there? I think. So that's a co-op game. Okay. Misty Dungeon Realm of Sand. Okay. We'll just go through the dungeon and fighting. Yo, oh, okay. Across the wilderness. Wind trace. What the heck was that? That was a scary face on the ground. Oh, oh, this is a little hide and seek game with your buddies, okay? We got, bro, if I start playing this game, what we gotta do is we, I gotta get a bunch of y'all together and then we're gonna all just come together and play like a hide and seek game or something like that together. Is it only four people though? Uh, if that's the case, that sucks. They gotta put more people together. Imagine if we had like a hide and seek game and get an impact, and all of us were there. Like, say, like a hundred of us, bro. Oh, that would be crazy. Battlefield of cats, dice, and cards. Oh, oh, I'm a sucker for some card games sometimes. If any of y'all like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, 
there was, I can't remember what the card game was right now, but that game, in, that card game in that one, I loved that one. That was probably my favorite side, side mission or side game, mini game in the entire game. And then of course, another ley line overflow. They always got these. And then the weapons, of, or artifacts actually. Okay. And then now the weapons. Is that like a bell right there? Hold up, hold up. Catalyst, and then a sword. That's a sword? That is not, uh, you could have fooled me. Is that plankton on the sword? Yo. Okay. We're not going to keep going back for all of these. If I get to another one that's like so incredible, I have to go back and rewatch it. We will. But that one right there, I think we got it. We were good. Not too much that I think that I missed a lot. Y'all probably going to go in the comments and roast me though for saying that. Uh, but yeah, we're on to the next one. 3.4, The Exquisite Night Chimes. A little get together between friends, sipping the finest tea and watching lanterns float into the sky, bidding okay. farewell to the past and embracing the present with joy. Yo, we finally get a rest. Hila will be hosting a lantern right music festival this year. Okay. As a musician myself, how could I possibly resist the temptation to come take a look? Everyone if coming we together. We managed to make the iridescence for lantern right grand concert a reality. You think I'm anyone else perform the opening act? <laughs> music festival. If the sound of music can flow like the rivers and streams, oh look at oh wait 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 that was adorable. Hold up, did y'all see her little dance bow? That. <laughs> <laughs> if the sound of music can flow like the rivers and streams, she's over here. Oh, okay, no, she was just getting a little hype. I thought she would dance a little bit. I wondered whether the melodies would be to their liking. Jimmy and what am I doing here? I did a performance for everyone. All right, good for you. Oh, we got Yao Yao. I don't think we've seen her before. All right, a little heartfelt music. Okay. Oh, the lantern's going up for the festival. And then we got... What is your name again? Hu Tao? Or... Yo... I like that one. Nice to have a little uh, a resting point in between everything going on. From violating matters regarding human evolution to attempting... The what did I just say, bro? <laughs> What did I just say? I I thought we were getting a break, and then now they said, nah, we hit you with peak right after. Okay, let's get into it, bro. What's happening? From violating matters regarding human evolution to attempting the forbidden and fearing none, the six cardinal sins are the origin of all evil in this world. Six cardinal sins. Is that a snake? Ew. It's the outsider! Why does that sound kind of racist? Hold up. Your coming was foretold. Oh? Oh, what the heck is this creature? It's like a nightmare that I can't recall. Well, that tree is dying. It's dying. And the best guy is when you believe your own lies. And we're back with this dude again. Oh, Al. Was that Al Haytham? Al Haytham? Whatever the heck his name is. Was that him this entire time under that mask? So he is the villain? Or maybe I have that wrong. But no, I. The hair is the same, bro. Or is it the same? I don't know. I don't know. Hold up. The best guys is when you believe your own lies. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Art of learning, thinking, and doing. Flicker. Ooh. Okay. Body. The process of elimination. Yeah, I think I might be wrong. They're not the same person. Drown in endless waves of monsters. Endless waves of monsters. You, you will all pay for your ceaseless arrogance. Oh my gosh. Okay. We got the uh, what? Seagulls? Not seagulls, bro. Whatever they are. Pelicans. We are walking on water. Excuse me. Did we become a god? the heck okay i like that one it wasn't anything like you know super like crazy until we got to like that second part it was getting a little crazier um but yeah 
Probably gonna be like one of my uh, the lesser ones so far, but still incredible. We got these other events. We're back on the ocean again. Fight bombing. The exquisite night chimes. Bustling lantern right is approaching. Warrior spirit. Looks like we're fighting again. Yeah, getting the rewards. And y'all told me that the lantern right festival. Hold up, hold up. Oh, what is this? What the? Rhinoceros beetles just freaking fighting each other? What the heck kind of fight is this? Or a vent is that? Second blooming. Re encounter the witch of purple rose. What the heck? I'm not gonna lie, these events are getting crazier and crazier. Overflowing mastery, gotta be another ley line thing, right? Yo, new outfits? Okay. And then we got to do fortuitous invitations, the more like, you know, character bonding, I'm assuming. Ooh, the music. Okay. Alright, so that one, not as crazy as all the other ones, but I still loved it. Um, definitely, like I said, it seemed like a little break in between all the chaos and, all, and everything like that. I think all the other ones were done so well, though, that I have to say this right here has to be uh, at the bottom of everything I've watched so far, of all these, uh, of the latest ones I've watched so far. Not not the other ones in 2.0 and 1.0, but like, of all the three point, all the version 3 ones I've seen so far, this right here has to be at the bottom right now. But it's still incredible, so it's like, it, it doesn't even matter if it's at the bottom, bro. Um, but yeah, y'all told me that the Lantern Rite Festival that I was seeing in the last video was actually uh, an event that happens after like every major area or something like that, I think, or, or something like that. So that's pretty cool to see it. So we're gonna be able to see that like all the time. All right, moving on to the next one, we got 3.5, Wind Blooms Breath. Let's see if you gonna follow up with some cra crazy chaotic. Crazy oh, chaos. Dear creature, why do you bow down? For fear of the unknown? Or for a power that you covet? The vibe is already dark. I've never seen anything like this in all my life. What in the world does this place conceal? You're I don't know. Look on your face. What happened? I can't take it. Have the broken mirror? I have seen you. Fate has not granted right. you the right to enter this place. Oh, this one looks crazy. The greatest should never live to remember their fall. <laughs> oh? Let's get it on! Oh, she about to body! Y'all saw her stretching, bro? Oh, my. The music. Hey, you're dead meat. Oh my gosh! Hold up, run that back. She was putting in work. Hold up. There we go. Uppercut. Freaking down fist. This right here, though, bro. Oh my! Oh my! The combo. Combo. Okay, Micah. Precision strike. He was the guy that we saw that was, I think, a part of Monster, right? Okay. Put in work too. Yo. Oh my! How long has it been since we've seen her? What was her name again? That's Kali, right? Why is this humble windmill such a great view? I mean, it's understandable. Oh? It must have been a long time since you last came to Mondstadt. Because it is the true Great Vayu Viastra. What the heck does that That's even mean? It. I think you've ruined Sumeru's reputation in Mondstadt beyond all hope of repair. Dang. Yo. Oh, look at this little ending scene, bro. That looks crazy cool. All of us get to just be together and have some fun. But we get some of the characters coming from Sumeru going over to Mondstadt to like, you know, just relax and vibe together. That's cool. It's also like I'm, I'm crazy to think about, like you think about all these characters you're seeing, like these main, like super cool characters in all these different regions. And then like you get to see them like get together and with other old characters that were super cool as well. Gotta be a lot of fun. And then all these events again. 
Okay, Wind Bloom's Breath still going on with this one. More of these musical activities. How are the musical ones? Do y'all like them? Or are they kind of like repetitive and boring after, after some time? Vibro Crystal Verification. Some more attacks or whatever, fighting. I like this music. This music reminds me of Dragon Quest a little bit. Oh, it definitely reminds me of Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest 9 gotta be one of my favorite games of all time, too, so. Fungus Mechanicus. Okay. A little uh, top down view type of event. Spices from the West Northerly Search. Oh, we cooking up some cuisine. Some lean, mean kitchen cuisine. Okay. With Candace, too? You telling me Candace can cook and she an absolute baddie, bro? Hold up. Let me stop. Let me stop. Ooh, Beacon of the Red Sea look kind of cool. All right. Another banger. Another banger. On to 3.6, we've got a Parade of Providence. Are we getting some more celebrations? Because we said parade. I come from an ancient race. Nope. We have existed for a very long time. Possibly longer than any records in existence. Oh, this is creepy. The history of dragons starts from the very beginning of Tevat. Dragon King? Dragon King? We were victims of the apocalypse. We also became the apocalypse itself. Whoa. Victims is of the apocalypse? Come after experiencing the apocalypse? No one can withstand the We got Nahida with us? Apocalypse. Bro, is this supposed to be one of the dragons? After the apocalypse? Both of you have only existed for a fraction of what you know as time. Yet you call yourselves lords of this land by leaning on the heavens glow. Is there any way to avoid fighting them? Bro. Wait. Okay, music. What in the world are these creatures? These are the dragons that they're talking about? Or what's left of them, maybe? Oh, their powers look insane. Life, death, and the world around us all follow a set of laws. Baizu! Okay, we've seen you before. I think you were working with uh, Kiki. A bitter pill to swallow. Taking a turn for the better. Okay. Nice little abilities, Kave. Watch and learn. Okay. Did you get to see some more of the characters? I love it. Oh, oh, oh. The competition is heating up. Oh, and here's Kave bringing up the rear. Are we have a little competition? Okay. Oh, okay. No way, hat guy and, and dad joke. <laughs> okay. That seemed like it would be a lot of fun. So it started off with like, you know, talking about the dragon uh, and all that stuff. You know, the dragons being like the beginning of time and all that stuff. Maybe. I, I think it was the dragon unless they're talking about something else. But it seemed like they, they referenced it and then moved on talking about the dragons. So it seemed like they were like talking about the dragons being like the first beings of existence or something like that. Um... Regardless though, so it seemed like they're gonna be uh, a little bit of a threat during this part But maybe like not that big of like a, of a story point I don't know because they only they had like barely brushed on it and then moved on to like the The event and like the competition we were having with each other. So Okay We got a Pareto Providence right here Uh, Okay With how many events that I see in this game it makes me think that, yeah, if I get into this game and start playing it and doing videos for y'all, I'm going to be playing, like, 10 hours at minimum per region. Like, Mondstadt is probably going to be, like, what, like, 5-10 hours? Leeway, probably, like, what, 20 hours? And it's going to keep getting more and more or something. What the heck? Are we a freaking... Is that a squirrel? What is that? Bro, okay. Fulminating Sandstorm? 
Oh, looks like we're in the middle of a sandstorm and fighting these enemies. Okay. Interesting. Oh, those are, oh, not really exactly, but like there's a bunch of things around there too. Brewing developments. All right, look, we're just fighting over here a little bit. The, recoll the recollector's path. Okay. Uh, we sneaking by. Oh, we're dropping bombs. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Overflowing mastery. Yep. We're getting more rewards, I think, or special rewards. All the artifacts again. And the new weapon. Okay, Jade Falls Splendor. Looks cool. I like it. Nice. Another banger, as always. They do not miss. Now we're starting to fly through these a little bit faster. You know, not spending 20 minutes on one of these trailers, because that is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, we're on to 3.7 now, though. We got Duel. Duel. <laughs> uh, the Summoner's Summit. Hmm? Do my ears deceive me? Or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? Okay. Wow. So this is the King of Invocations Grand Prix. Grand Prix for the oh, invocations, nice. okay? Hmm. How very interesting. City on the Lake teams with talent in TCG tournament as young prodigy best Favonian cavalry captain. Okay. Down on the ground, the dice spin around. While high in the sky, the sun shines bright. So we're gonna be having a lot of fun here. It seems All like right. a bunch of card games. Say your piece, challenger. I, Kaidahara Kazuha, humbly accept this duel. Inazuma's Archon bolts her way to the semifinals, only to be stunned by a crafty opponent. Okay, this is a, this is a lot of fun, bro. Nerve. Saying that in the presence of me and A, lightning from Inazuma won't be able to reach me in Fontaine, right? Wait, 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 hold up. I know, I know, we're having fun here, but. Lightning from Lightning from Inazuma, Inazuma won't, be won't be able to reach me in Fontaine. So somebody ran away to Fontaine. I don't know who it is. I can't remember who it is. You must be tired after the walk back to shore. Perhaps I should let you go first. If this red tofu with all the frills hasn't gotten too cold, I would be happy to play. Tournament? The tournament has already finished. Oh? I used forbidden hand at the opportune moment. <laughs> My man wants the spotlight. There is no destination I can't deliver to. Thank you for choosing Comania Express. Okay. Oh, and y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all told me, before we keep going, y'all told me that she is a, 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 originally a cat who transformed into a human, I think, or something like that? Or a, like a, a, originally a cat girl? Something like that. It wasn't that like she can transform into a cat girl or like is more so or that she can transform into a human form yeah. i think that's what it was at least it was like for multiple of these characters too not just her imagine getting your freaking cheek clapped by an amazon delivery girl that would be foul bro don't take that out of context wow. <laughs> so this is sumeru there are so many huge mushrooms here. They're big enough to lie on. Yo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at us making friends. Smooth operator. Okay. I see the traveler. I see him. Do the summoner summit. <laughs> this part seems pretty cool. So a lot more events, card trading, card dueling, and all that stuff. It looks like it'd be a lot of fun, too. And it's like all the characters are the cards themselves. So you got like Barbara, um, Klee and them, Venti. Okay. And these gears? I don't know what the gears are supposed to be. You're supposed to like make them work together somehow. Dice stratagem. Looks like buffs again to fight in a, in a area against some like powerful monsters. Divine Ingenuity, Collector's Chapter. Oh, this is like a bunch of waves of different opponents, okay. It says also at the bottom, you once again encounter Hong Ling in the outskirts of Mondstadt. According to him, the strange domain has appeared once again, so yeah, you're fighting over there. What is that, though? Like, you're replacing certain, like, enemies, or... Or, like, I don't know. Feast of the Departed Warriors. 
That enemy looks crazy. What the heck was that? Phase trials, hypothesis. Whoa! Weakness is captured seven. Oh, you just bodied them. And then once again, they never stop it. Leyline overflow. Ibis piercer though. Okay. Another great version trailer. What can I say? All of them have been like, at the very least, at the very least, a seven out of ten. And I think only one of them was a seven out of ten for me. It was like the, it was the one that was like you know just the the pure vibes. The first one that we had those pure vibes. All the other ones have been at least like a 9 out of 10, bro. I don't know. I'm actually really glad that I separated this video now from the first one. Um, at first, I was originally going to try to get all the videos done in one video. All the version trailers done. But, you know, after starting this one, you know, there's a, free, a few reasons. One, it feels like uh, I have a lot more energy now, obviously. But that could have just been I recorded later. Two, it feels like the first uh, like version 1.0 or 1 to 2 was kind of like, you know, setting up everything to be super good later on it felt like um so now with three now we got all these right here it's like we started off with a absolute banger of like a series of bangers bro for all these version trailers this has been great so far i'm hoping fontaine is gonna be just as good for the version trailers if not better because i know 4.0 is supposed to be fontaine right so let's see we've got the last one for version three i'm assuming we're moving on to fontaine after this one or maybe in this one uh but yeah we got version 3.8 Secret Summer Paradise. She's so solid and tough, but also clear and open, like an ice cube. Oh, you Is that why she's able to dance anytime and anywhere she wishes? She looks so like, you know, kind and gentle. But she never has like a stern look on her face Keep or anything. Quick. Get in the light. Oh, look at her with the little witch hat on. Yo, little red riding hood, okay. Yeah. You got a fairy, a knight, and a thief. The caretaker and your mascot. I shall announce your respective adventure duties. Oh, this is cute. So she's doing a little story time, a little play, a little role playing. Okay, some larping, huh? <laughs> chugga 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 chugga. Of course you are. Oh gosh, yeah, her eyes were gone. Okay. This is like purely good vibes. Look at that huge She's having the time of her you life. Experience being on stage? Once the stage lights turn on, everyone's attention is focused on. Oh yeah. Everybody getting on stage again, they spotlight. Okay. Yo, all right. Mommy is busy these days and can't take you out to play. But there's good news. I have a friend who has very kindly invited you to visit her. Ooh, okay. Wait, Klee has a mom? <laughs> I'm like, I don't think I've ever seen Klee's parents. Secret Summer Paradise, though. Yeah, it seems like it's all about Klee a little bit. And her having a, like a fun old time. Good old time. Bunch of different things that we were doing over here. What is this creature that we're flying through with? Oh, dodge, everything, okay. I would get super competitive with certain games like that. Certain mini games or events like that. Okay. All these events look pretty cool. Yeah, I would definitely get way too competitive with these. Oh. oh, that creature is adorable. What was that? Animals are my weakness, bro. Animals are my weakness. Perilous Expedition, Adventurous Trials, Advanced. Oh, you're just getting all of them inside of the, the circle. And another Overflow and Mastery. This feels like a whole like carnival ride type of uh, event. 
Kaya's new outfit. Please as well. Okay. That was nice. That was nice. It's time, y'all. We're moving on to 4.0 now. We got as light rain falls without reason. 4.0. And because we're talking about the rain, I think we were talking about Nouvellet, maybe? Because I remember y'all said that his ability has to do with the water and the rain, so... I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. The people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. That was Furina, because Furina is the, the, the Archon, right? Yo, everyone's gonna dissolve in the water? the value and significance of your trip. Oh, it's now, a water nation? You may rejoice in this. Look at this waterfall, bro. Oh, this... Fontaine is definitely gonna be up there with Sumeru for me, so... Sumeru and Fontaine, I can already tell, are gonna be my favorite areas, bro. Look at... Just off, off rip, bro. Look at this, bro. Good lord. The waterways, too. Look, look at this. And you travel you along them? Do you think it's right to treat a trial like it's an opera? What the heck, was that a robot man? To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. Trial Welcome and a performance? And all to the opera Epicles. Watch carefully now. That is a big stage. And you might miss it. Ooh, all the cars. Here we go, we got Liney and Lynette coming up. Liney first, okay. Yeah, this freaking dark streets of London type of vibe for the music. Step right up. And over here is my sister Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Okay, so that's his sister, okay. She looks so unamused though during all of this. Step on up. Oh, this little shadow form. We saw that in her character Let demo. The magic begin. Here comes the finale. Yo, cat in the hat? Bodying? Oh, and it exploded too? Okay. Oh, what the heck are you? Oh, that area looked pretty cool. I want to spend some time at the bottom of the sea. In and peace. they. Yes, from from an from a nay. However you say your name, sir. Okay. Which I think I've pieced together. And I think some of y'all confirmed some things as well. I didn't I didn't read what everybody said about them. But Liney, Lynette, and Fremenet seem to be sky from far enough underwater. Even the sun is soft on the Linked ice. or something like that. Siblings maybe, I think. These fossils are all that's left of these beautiful creatures. Yo I wonder how long before the rest of the world becomes part of this underwater museum too. Oh, that's gonna suck. They said everyone's gonna dissolve into the water, so... Ooh. I'm... Wait... Who am I? Who was talking right there? What the, the heck? The water is gradually swallowing our memories. Bro. It won't be long before it swallows us. We've been trying to find out how the Oratrice operates. We want to know why it has a consciousness. The Oratrice. Why can't it deliver sentences accurately? The Oratrice delivers sentences on people for whatever sins they commit then? It's raining. We must know all we can about this nation's secrets in order to deal with that prophesized crisis. Yo. Is this part of the show? Doesn't look like you're kidding. Charges have now been pressed. Was her body in half? A trial is in order. There we go, Nouvelle. You would be wise to tell everything you know and seek the protection of the guards. Dear God, it's a whole army of Gardamax. I believe this is indeed the finale. <laughs> oh, this. Your so called justice, your beloved drama. Turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people. In I can't get a word in right now. The human life is nothing compared to those cold laws you hold so dear. 
And then we got him right there. What was his name? Tar y'all, I always call him Child, but it's like Tart. So this is how Justice is done in like Fontaine. That? What a joke. Hmm. You've Ooh. got your rules. Well, I've got mine too. Oh, he about to oppose them, bro. Wait, are we fighting against Furina? I did not actually think that was the case, bro. Yo. And Nuvalide is in the back, bro. Bro. Oh, Fontaine. Yeah, Fontaine is going to be just as exciting as, as Sumero seems to me. I know y'all said that Fontaine is the best. And Sumero is good as well. Um, but not as good as Fontaine. I don't I don't know. We're going to see if I if I personally like Fontaine or Sumero better. But it looks like it looks like Fontaine's going to get like super deep and like dark and everything like that and like really touch on some crazy things. Verdict of Blades, Hidden Mirage and Fontaine, okay. Relic Records, Creations of the Hydro Nation. Are we gonna be like finding notes and researching or something like that? Studies in Light and Shadow of Fontaine of Enchantment. Oh, and we're underwater. Y'all did say that you can start going underwater once you get to like Fontaine area and stuff. So you're gonna be able to actually start swimming, and y'all said that the swimming mechanics are really cool too, so... That's gonna be a lot of fun. I, I, I remember playing Genshin Impact when it was when it first came out, like I said. Like I've, like I've been saying every single video. Um, that's beautiful, bro. And then, I remember that you could never swim in the water. If you go in the water, you could probably like... You swim, but like you can't actually, you know, go underwater, dive, swim, all that stuff. It's like you would swim across, you have a stamina bar, and then if you swim for too long, you die pretty much. Um, so you would have to like, use characters' abilities, like of ice abilities, to like freeze it and get across, or other abilities to get across. But it looks like you're gonna be able to go underwater as well. So I wonder if there's gonna be a stamina bar still. I wonder if there's a stamina bar in the beginning still as well. Maybe they change it completely, but maybe not. I think I think it only happens later on, like you guys said. All right, that one was a lot of fun. I love that one. It was a great little introduction into Fontaine. So it seems like things are gonna go downhill fast when we get there, and the uh, traveler looks like he's gonna be against the Archon there. I'm wondering if we're just gonna be against like most of the Archons. Like we're either gonna be with or against like an Archon in every single area probably. I'm assuming at least. Like in Mondstadt, I'm pretty sure it was like Venti and a Dragon. Um, and then in Leeway, I can't remember Leeway. Uh, oh no no no, Leeway I do remember. It was Rex Lapis. Um, and then I don't know what Inazuma is. I, I would assume that Inazuma is probably the Raiden May. Cause it looked like we were fighting her so maybe she's the archon or related to the archon at the very least not too sure uh, but yeah so it looks like we're gonna be involved with them somehow some way every single time anyways we're on to 4.1 to the stars shining in the depths oh uh, oh uh, heck, heck no we ain't got no freaking mug shots going on paimon too that's hilarious paimon the criminal They really locked us the away. The fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, but it should in fact be regarded as a gathering place for exiles. I will arrange false charges against you so that you may secretly investigate inside the fortress. The truth is, oh. this place has a lot of hidden rules. Are we sneaking around? Is there All actually a sneaking aspect to this game? Including the ones that had infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished. They all vanish. Something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? So, Ooh. you know those pipes that make strange sounds? I know those fists. Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Sooner or later, all will pay the price for their arrogance. Okay! I'm gonna call you Rio. I don't know how to say your name. Rio. Yeah. My man got the gauntlets of death, bro. Gauntlets of doom. Yeah. Oh, he body. This could get a little chilly. But we're going like under into the like, land of exiles or prison Time's fortress. Up. Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, and it's underwater. If Risley does have a plan. Risley, what could it go. be? After being away from the sunlight for so long, even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. Dang. Uh, I. Have to... Oh, he's drowning, bro. Have we entered into the next stage of the prophecy? Of the prophecy? 
And Yo. now, another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this turn of events. Nuvalite, there he goes. Ordainer of judgment or whatever, or justice. Bro, I can't wait to see a lot of these characters go at it with each other. Absolute epicness, bro. To express my emotions because I cannot fully understand myself. I'm confident that we'll find the meaning of our existence one day. Rumors saying that you were born from calamity. You inherently bring danger to those around you. Why should we trust this species from who knows where anyway? Melazine hey. can't be trusted. That goes for Nervalet too. There's no, only no one relate. thought on my mind. Only Innocent. through bloodshed can the debt be repaid. Risley, oh my gosh. I to take my siblings. Even if the truth may not be pleasant, since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. It Bro. just how carefree you have been. From the very beginning, you, the god Fosalor, have failed to take action. There's so much happening. Oh, we saw her. Is this what justice means to you? Answer me, Nubilet. Oh my gosh. You will see much in the human world, from the delightful to the depressing. And one day, when you have dwelt among humanity long enough, you will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. That's who Nuva, uh, who Nuva Lit is? It is unnecessary to hold me in such high regard. Whoa. Everything just looked horrible at that point. He's not even on this little screen. No, he, he's on the back right. Like he's like, he's fading away now. Maybe we deal with him and he's just gone for good. I don't know. And then, oh my gosh, best girl coming up, Arlecano. I think it's how y'all said it. Something like that, bro. I, you know what? In fact, I'm gonna go check it real quick. There it is. It took me like five minutes to find this, bro. Arleca Arlecano. Arlecano. Okay, Arlecano. I still had that wrong. Arlecano. Arlecano. Okay, there we go. Arlecano. I gotta remember that. I'm probably gonna forget somehow still, but I'm gonna try my best to remember Arlequino. So we got Arlequino over here. Yo, best girl. Poems and melodies wandering the wind, wafting to pastures beyond their home. Two greedy fishies struggling to swim. They ate so much that they're starting to groan. Welcome to this festival of poetry, jointly organized by Lua and Mondstadt. Okay. Oh, this riddle is uh, unique. We got okay, Hutao and Venti something. doing some poems it's together. Pizza. Oh, I love this oh, little yeah. art style. It's hilarious. It's the like a. Is Paimon. It's Paimon. What would you even call it? Say Paimon too. What? Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Okay, I got something. It's pizza. The answer is pizza. The answer is pizza. Oh yeah, the answer is Paimon. Answer is Paimon. Paimon. I was actually gonna say Paimon too. What? No, you're all completely wrong. How did you all think the answer was Paimon? <laughs> I don't even know the answer, what the question was. Waterborne poetry. Okay. We'll pass to and fro beneath the stone gate. It's gonna dandelion wine just in the air. Okay. Greet the start of a poetic adventure with friends. A little vibe afterwards. I mean, you need a little bit of vibe and, you know, relaxation after all that chaos and all the freaking insanity we were just having. Dodoko's bombastic taste, bombast, bombastic adventure. There we go. Radiant harvest. Ooh, more of the underwater swimming. Yeah, I can't wait to go swimming underwater in this game. It seems like it'll be a lot of fun. The peaks and troughs of life. Is it trough or is it tro? I think it's trough, right? Okay, we do a little mini game in between fighting. And you never miss it, bro. Overflowing mastery. New weapons, some tomes, cash flow supervision, whatever the heck that is. Oh, that's a freaking porter saw. The heck? Okay, nice. All right, 
We're moving along. We're under 4.2 now, y'all. We got Masquerade of the Guilty. I feel like it's going to be more of a nouvelette. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique de Nalise Cardinal, the Hydro are come to be punished by a, the death sentence. What? They're punishing the Archon herself? To death? You and I both know that there may be issues with the Primordial Sea. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. Oh, is it because something that she did Shouldn't with the water God made them all, all die? Powerful? What's done is done. Just trust me, your Archon. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. Yo. So she did something that caused her to get the death sentence from freaking Nouvellet. But she don't seem to care. She's saying just to trust her, okay. Her abilities look so fun, bro. Just a bunch of like water abilities and some like creatures. Charlotte. Okay. Oh, the freaking photographer. So it started off feeling like it was uh serious, but now we're getting a little bit just, you know, kind of fun. And a little no, vibe. Local, but I'd avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange all the same. This girl There's right here. Ominous about it. Well, the water, I mean. Yeah, what's up with the water? Prophecy. Yes. What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. I, Marina, will use this trial to show the world the true not this judgment is fair. Yo, that creature looked crazy though. But what's going on with this whole justice thing? And why should we acknowledge it? So so Why did you deceive us? Everybody's just against each other. This isn't right. This trial is Whoa, 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 whoa. I now understand the true purpose behind this position. Her hat came off. What happened? And what is it his true purpose? You are the devious one, Fosalor. Whoever this Fosalor is seems to be the main threat. Papa, what should I do? What is happening? Th the prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. I suppose this would also be the justice that belongs to you. All will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic trial. Oh, that place is drowning, Farewell, drowning. Nervalette. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. The part you played 500 years? That's how long he's been around? Masquerade of the Guilty, bro, what is happening? The entire Fontaine area looked like it was just... It, it actually just went underwater. We're about to be the lost city of Atlantis at this point. What is happening? Everyone's against each other. No, I gotta go back real quick. Even if they got something right after this right here, I gotta go back real quick because this. What was happening here? I just want to see this part again. This position. He says, I know. I now understand the true purpose behind this position because his position was like some freaking, I don't know, God or being. Uh, seem to have uh, uh, put nu Nouvellet into this position. So maybe he's not even from this world. Um, but either way, like he's the one bringing judgment upon everybody, and even an Archon. And then so, yeah, but he's talking about Fosalors. Uh, whoever this person is, I'm assuming is the one that brought him in. Maybe it was the girl we saw at the end. Um, but yeah, yo, the trial of the Hydro Archon. Fosal oh no, Fosalors is the, is the Hydro Archon. I thought it was Fur Furina. Is that her name, maybe? She did say Fosalors, didn't she? So, okay, okay. So maybe that's her actual name. And the hat came off. They didn't actually execute her, did they? Bro. I now understand the true purpose behind this position. And then this. Nouvellet going crazy. Did he summon this thing? This freaking celestial fish? You are celestial well? Have 
Bro. Did she say everyone's dead? Everyone's dead. Yeah, everyone's dead. And then there's freaking... I... Bro. Bro. I... Oh. You know what? Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Fontaine might actually just be that good. Like, this is already seeming in incredible. I what is this freaking spatial galactic celestial well doing? It's like cracking through like space and time right now. Papa, what should I do? Bro! The prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. Should now be in full <laughs> swing. And then you... I don't know who you are. Bro. I suppose this would also be the justice that belongs to you. All will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic- Look at this. Like, we're literally underwater. There's nothing left. Don't tell me this is literally the, the location. It, it is. It has to be. The location where I was just talking about the waterfalls looked amazing and everything like that. There's no way. Attic trial. Farewell, Nervalet. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. Farewell to him. So I'm assuming he maybe died or something or, or left or something. Yo. And then I love how they continue on with a little bit of like, you know, ominous, mysterious music. They don't go to some goofy stuff this time. Yo, Thelxie's Fantastic Adventures. Oh, yeah, this... Fontaine gotta be dark, bro. Everybody's dying here? Bro. This event looks pretty cool, though. Oh, we got Nilu, okay. Little Fun Guys Fantastic Fiesta. Graph Adversario technolo Technology Experiment Log. Looks like we're just taking pictures of things. Misty Dungeon, Realm of Water. Another uh, domain, I'm assuming, dungeon. Leyline Overflow once again. Yo. Ooh, that sword looks crazy. Bro, I don't know. That looked like it got dark beyond belief. Everybody might have been dying. Everybody, like the, the Nouvellet and Fossilors, Furina, I'm assuming, um, are like playing each other. Or well, it, or not playing each other maybe, but like it looked like maybe Furina, Fossilors, like had this whole grand plan in mind or something like that from the very beginning that she was trying to have Nouvellet figure out or something. And then he figured it out. Something happens to him. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I, got, I gotta go play. Don't, don't like I said, don't, okay, don't spoil me in the comments, y'all, because I am going to be playing the game, so I'd like to go ahead and go in there. I already have, like, all of this information from the version trailers and whatnot, um, but I'm, I want to leave it at that. So when I go in, I have this knowledge so far, and then I go in there, I play it, and I'll be surprised by whatever does happen, because I don't, I don't know what the actual true story is going to be, uh, but I have an idea based off of all these trailers, so... This is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Moving on, we got 4.3 now, Roses and Muskets. Which makes me think of that one uh, uh, soldier girl with the, the, the army hat on. Whatever you call that, bro. Camera operator. That can be a pretty technical job. Are oh. you really up to it? This girl, I remember her demo. She was going crazy. Probably one of my favorite demos, too. Might be my top five. Wait, you put no thought into finding a good camera angle, and the characters weren't in the Director, shots. Furina. Hey, positions, everyone! <laughs> nice to meet you. I am Navia, the President, Leader, Commander-in-Chief, Executive Director, and Boss of Spina di Rosula. You just do everything, huh? Hey there! Okay. I like this, okay. Get to see her doing a little bit of, you know, cast and directing and whatnot. Alright. Cameras will start rolling as soon as the set is ready. Oh, and then Fiorina. Really 
Here's the director. Props and lighting set the scene. Actors can get their makeup done. Extras. Go over your positions. Camera ready. Ooh. Get the clapper board. Actors to your position. I love how they're showing like Camera. canon to everybody in their Action. roles. Okay. Enough, villain. Pay for the death of our mother. <laughs> You're just as naive as her. Did you really think two muskets would be enough to defeat me? Oh? Your crimes are evident. Yo. I remember her trailer too, bro. Oh my gosh. We're getting to see all these characters doing some things with the version trailers. That's so cool. Men in black? Hold up. I didn't even think about that. Justice will prevail. Okay. Not bad. The actor's emotions were all on point. Let's keep that take. <laughs> we'll move on to the next scene. Uh, oh, this is cool. This is fun. Did you really think you'd get away? Chevras. You can keep your mora, and you can go to hell. Dang! Excellent! That was beyond mesmerizing. Let's okay. Let's make a film that'll make some serious waves in Fontaine. Ah, uh, not the kind of waves that drown people. That I mean, the good kind of waves. <laughs> yeah, let's keep it that way. Okay. You know, based off of the whole um, Fiorina's character demo and with uh, how these uh, version trailers have been for Fontaine so far, I'm thinking, like, what if the whole Fontaine area is going to be like a uh, it was all in your mind type of, type of uh, story plot or whatever? What if it's because like, she's doing the whole play thing? What if everything that happens there is literally a play? All the world's a stage? So maybe she's just putting a bunch of pieces together to make this entire story for her people I, I don't know what she would be doing with that so maybe but i have to play to find out so back with these freaking rhinoceros beetles fighting each other bro hey you body them good work <laughs> dance of resolute will uh let's see we're just fighting look at all those level 90 characters that i'm about to have once i start playing the game okay lost riches oh we're going treasure hunting we're looking for the one piece huh Call me Monkey D. Luffy. Hold up. Gerada D. Luffy. Hold up. Are we underwater looking for it too? Yep, perfect. Marvelous of merchandise, bro. This dude with the freaking 80s afro again. It seems like he comes back for like every single one of the versions. New artifacts and all that stuff again. Ley line, all that stuff. Wonderful. Alright, on the next one, we got 4.4 Vibrant. Air Harriers aloft in spring breeze. Have you ever heard of wushu dancing? Oh, I remember this dude. Yes, I like his mask. Is always changing, so it is only fitting that lantern right should change in turn. Another the lantern right is festival. In vale. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. Ms. Okay. Is now one of my Yo, wait, 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 wait. This freaking statue is crazy. What the heck? My this Furina is one of their esteemed clients. You are quite right, Miss Tao. Oh, okay. My man's dancing on the water. My treat. Ooh, I like this dude though. His like his get up, bro. His attire, bro, is fire. No pun intended. Okay. Oh, look at all this freaking fish. The koi fish, I think, right? A kite is always tied down no matter how far it flies or Gishin. how high it soars. Oh, kite Yo. born of paper, flying true and sound. A lone traveler wanders, just awaiting to be found. I always believed we would see each other again. That our days of separation would finally end. Lantern Bro. right should be a day of reunion. Yes, it should. I like that. Oh, I don't remember. You chose a path without a future. Path without a future. Spare oh, we're crying. Why are we crying? I alone am the source of this sin. You alone. Whoa! What is this creature? Oh, you look cool. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm saying about everybody. You look awesome, though. 
Okay. Oh, I forgot about her. And y'all mentioned to me that she is a, a death die or a, whatever the word was exactly. So she like turns into a human form. So she's not human originally, obviously. Got you. Oh my gosh, her abilities are crazy too. Adeptus or something like that, yeah. Okay. And this dude with his dancing, bro. I'm gonna love him, bro. I'm gonna love him. I can already feel it. And then more events. Vibrant Harriers aloft in the spring breeze, which is literally the title of this one. Okay. Oh, I love this little setting right here we got for whatever this event is. Oh, are we? Oh! Oh, we're battling each other like that, like bumper cars. Yo. Okay. Now we're flying through the sky and getting all like the lanterns, it looks like. Or lotuses, whatever those were. Oh, we cooking? Oh, we chefing it up? Okay. Like, I'm about to go do after this video. <laughs> Journey through what? Hellenigmatic terrain? Uh, okay. Interesting. Whoa. Was he on a pogo stick? Oh, dang. We body that dude. Triumphant frenzy. Another domain where we fighting. Music's a little vibe, love it. Twilight Blossom. Ooh, Gon Yu outfit, okay. Shin Hei outfit. Shin Yu, she, I don't know how to say your name. Friends at the doorstep, you get to do some more bonding. Ooh, what kind of weapon? Oh, I love that one. That was fun, that was fun, you know? Another calm after the storm. All right, on to 4.5. We're getting closer to the end, y'all. We're getting closer to the end. Um, actually, I'm making much better time with this video than I thought. I thought for sure I'll be at like three hours by now. But, you know, stopping doing the, uh, the you know, go back and analyze every single little detail. Save a lot of time. I might go back to doing it right now, though, because uh, how much time we got. Um, but, yeah, we're under 4.5 now. Blades weaving betwixt brocade. Wow, I can't believe I'm putting the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands! I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, Dang. the more sober they'll become! I what? wonder if it could also be used to turn water into wine? Alternatively, a strength-enhancing potion could make it so that Paimon could take down an Abyss Mage all on her own. Oh, Paimon gonna come OP? The pain from walking on all that rough terrain. It was never there. With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. Day, we traveled across the whole continent, the whole freaking world, bro. Jerry, your your shipment's here. <laughs> I like this one. It's a little fun one. No, just ran into a bit of trouble. We got the wine industry. We got the Amazon delivery. It's up to me to decide who I want to be. Time to cut my own path. We got the no seamstress. Tell me what to do. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be after, you know, all the chaos. Maybe. Ooh, Navia, bro. Navia's demo. Oh, I just love the scene where she was running after him and doing all that parkour. Like that one dude. What kind of rag do you trying to sell us, huh? Oh, you don't like it? You didn't get bought out by my competitors, did you? Mmm. Spitting the freaking facts there. Hold up. Asking the real questions. Alchemical Ascension. That's Felonius. Okay, so we're back with Mondstadt and stuff. Ooh. This little fairy tale type of music, like a bard playing a song for somebody. I like that. It looks like we're going ahead and making some potions right now that they were talking about. Feline Fortress Fer Ferdisy. Oh, oh, we we get to pet cats. Oh, this is the best game of all time, bro. Hold up, Rolling Cross Fight. Oh, okay. Oh, all these mini games right here that remind me, like you know, the old school games that used to play, like arcade games. So much fun. The Great Phase Reaction Debate. Okay. 
That's all of them, okay. New weapons, pole arm, sword. Nice, all right. I like the little scene in the background too. It's like a little, uh, like it feels like a little carnival with like a little, you know, the windmill going on right there and everything else. Okay, rainbow in the sky, all a little childish and everything. All right, that one was a pretty short one. I liked it though. It was a little fun vibe. Um, we got to see all the characters, you know, doing their thing to the seamstress. Um, I'm assuming the photographer was probably there as well. Um, and then we had the, um, uh, but who else was it? Amazon delivery and the wine industry girl. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun right there. It seemed pretty cool. And uh, it's always cool to see that we're having everybody kind of interact with other characters from the past too. Like it's not like everybody from the from before is just irrelevant now. They're all going to come back at some point, or at least have some sort of interactions with each other from people who are like currently you're currently playing with in the story. That's always cool to see. But we are now on to 4.6, Two Worlds of Flame, The Crimson Knight fades just by these words alone i'm about to check the freaking thumbnail i have a feeling this might be the best girls oh i think it is i think it is hold up like that immediately bro okay 4.6 y'all on occasion we hold barbecue dinners at the house they hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. Bro. They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the Whoa. feeling is mutual. She was like After glitching all, right there. It's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up, and since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. It okay. was a great plan shrouded in secrecy we all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord so we're mixing That's sumeru and fontaine right now with this the old man's been putting the pressure on other parts of the story to tell me i'm needed for some sort of project projects do oh my gladiators the plan will lose a lot of members in the process like a I centaur anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the gnosis if you accept my proposal monsieur never let unless absolutely necessary i will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. She'll no longer care about any special missions. So is she like a, like a uh, you know, a secret assassin or something like that hired by him? Oh my gosh, but we get to see her in action, bro. And that wing, bro. The, oh my gosh. Everlasting as the moon. Yeah, she gotta be the best character in the game, bro. An order once given cannot be rescinded. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. Oh. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If Father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. And they're saying Father. I know y'all said Father is supposed to be Arlequino, Sino so... was chosen, but he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this rite of duels. Bro. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. Wisdom of Hermanubis. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you Yo! want ideas. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your She's fighting all of them? Optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, however, few among us are willing to sip from a glass filled with Please. tainted water. We Bro. Will make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned Why? to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told. What so does she choose for? Decide to tag along. And we're fighting her? There are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't mm -hmm. want to disobey an order from Father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. Bro! Two worlds of flame, the crimson night fades. Yo. Oh, that's oh, gonna be insane. The majesty of the rock and roll king of Hanamisaka. Oh my gosh. What do you know about rock and roll, Bullchucker? Bullchucker? That's foul. Oh, Paimon's bringing it, all right. Ha! Okay, Paimon getting feisty with him. Hold up. <laughs> all right, before we get into these, bro, nah, I gotta go back real quick. That. We gotta, we gotta pay respect to our girl, bro. The best girl. On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. Okay. They hunt for food, compete for with food. each other, even compete. cooperate. 
They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. So you all enjoy it? Okay. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Familiar faces will be missing. Oh, that must. I, that has missing to be from the crowd. That has to mean like the children are dying or something like that, bro. Like all like all of the people within the family are dying. The next time a similar event rolls around. Bro, that's gotta be sad something too. Something has come up, and since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a great plan shrouded in secrecy. Yo, okay, so Cyrus and Sino, Mr. Dad joke, uh, they're about to be involved with this maybe? Or is this supposed to be something separate, like it's happening at the same time? I, I don't know. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord. The revival That's of their lord. I my power. The old man's been putting the Yo, pressure on me. Yo, he gave his power from that? someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Look at this dude, bro. The freaking Roman centaur gladiator. Project Stuja. Participating in the plan. Hold up. To tell me I'm needed for some... The old man's been putting pressure on him. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. This is Sino talking, right? Some sort of project. Project. Project Stuza. The heck is that supposed to be? And look at this armor, bro. This guy. Stuza. Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. Oh. I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. If you hold up, who was she talking to right there? Did we see? I did not anticipate we would meet again. No, we can't see. I'm assuming. If she's talking to somebody, it's probably Nouvellet, Nouvellete, Nou, Nou, how do you say it, bro? Nouvellet. After presenting you with the Gnosis. Didn't anticipate to meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. What, the is, what does Gnosis mean, bro? Esoteric knowledge of spiritual truth held by the ancient Gnostics to be essential to salvation. That is a mouthful. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur, yeah, yeah, so she's talking to him. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, unless Nevelet. absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within the Fontaine. Yo. Bro. Wait, did they have I'll information on her before? Special missions within the Fontaine. No, I don't think they had information on her before, did they? Wait. The Knave. Fourth of the Fatui Harbingers. I can't remember who the Harbingers were exactly. I, I I had to have fought one of them at least, right? If I if I got to Inazuma, but I can't remember what any of them look like or who they are or anything like that. But she's one of the Fatui Harbingers, one of the, the fourth one, um, a poised, ruthless diplomat to the children in the House of Hearth. She is their feared yet dependable father. Yo. She's going crazy, bro. I don't know who she's fighting, but they're getting bodied regardless. And then she brings the wing out. These abilities. At the moon. Bro. An order once given cannot be rescinded. Who is this, though, following Simon? Do Simo? you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. Okay, okay. Do you have any idea what... So, Liney and Fremenet are... Talking about this, and it looks like I'm assuming that Liney is confronting Lemon from Annette about hiding somebody. What you're doing, you're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If Father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. Who are they hiding? Traitor. Is it Sino? Sino? Was chosen. Or Sino? My but bad. He was my not bad. the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this right of duels. Yo! The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yo! You seem to have different ideas. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your Bro, words. nah, 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 go back. But doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. So she wants him? to become the next king of the house. So basically like she, she seems like she is no one to be messed with. Like she will absolutely annihilate your entire lineage if you were to mess with her or, or her people, her family. So she wants him to become the next her? Does he have that kind of potential? That's gotta be crazy. Like he's gonna be super strong, bro. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. And Allow then, bro, me to remind you, Helen. You among us are willing to sit from a What is she even doing here? Nah, bro. What did she just do? 
Did her transformation just cause this great eruption, bro? Like, what? Okay. Yeah. Best girl, bro. By far. Look at her, bro. Nah, bro. What are they saying here? Because it is too much text right here. Hold up. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, however, few among us are willing to sip from a glass filled with tainted water. Dang. You're trying to frame us, Father. Few among us are willing to sip from a glass. Oh, a freaking explosion. We, I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities. I'll make sure it's strained of all impurities and return to its cleanest form. Purities and they're accepting their punishment. Good things come to children who do as they're told. So Bro. I do hope you decide to tag along. There are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. My gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, this is crazy. I can't tell if she's evil or if she's good. I'm assuming she's good. Like she like it looks like she's trying to do things out of the kindness of her heart, maybe. But it looks like she's doing them in a way that seems kind of evil. May I don't know. But she's trying to help them, it looks like, but in like a tough way, like you know, like a tough parenting type of way. Hold on. Get rid of these captions, bro. One more time, one more time. I gotta see this like little of scene between them with no captions. I want you to become the next king of the house. Bro, you seem to have different ideas. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. They're going in, Lynette, Fremenet, Fremenet. Allow me to remind you, however, few among us are willing to sip from a glass filled with tasty water. I'll make sure Good it's drained Lord of power. all impurities and returned Why? to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're Yo. told. So I do hope you decide to tag along. And then we're fighting her next. So there I are many dangers ahead. And I, I feel like she turns don't evil. Intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. And the music. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. Beautiful. Magnificent. The best one, bro. The best one, bro. Behold this one. Majesty oh my of gosh. The rock and roll king of Hanamizaka. Whatever you say. What and then this freaking goofy. Rock and roll, <laughs> then bring it on. Oh, Paimon's bringing it, all right. Y'all heard the, <laughs> the tone of her voice, bro. Oh, that got me. Okay. Caption's back on, but good lord, bro. Oh. Oh, this is playing right here. That was fire. So, the 4.0 and 4.2 were... I, I have to have, like, a top, like, 5 to 10 right now. Because I can't... I don't know which ones are my favorite. This one right here is definitely in the top 3. 4.0, 4.1, 3.0, and 3.1 are also there as well. So, top 5 in total. Um, and then after that, I don't even know anymore. Good lord, though. They popped off of these. Now we got some more events going on here still. Uh, whatever this is. Wind Trace, Seekers, and Strategy. So, another hide and seek one it looks like maybe? I can't exactly tell. I don't know. Vibro Crystal Applications. It seems like a lot of these are like, are kind of like repeating ones or like maybe they enhance versions of like past events maybe? Yo, it's somebody, oh, they're playing as Wanderer right there. Oh, that's crazy. Specially shaped Surian Search. Okay. Fighting one of these freaking flowers. I remember these flower bosses too. This is how you were supposed to level up and whatnot. Okay. New weapon. Pole arm. Artifacts. Ooh. Yeah, that gotta be the best one, bro. This has to be... If not the best one, it's in the top three for sure. Uh, just so y'all can see, there's some shorts right here. Uh, I'm gonna skip those ones though and go over to the, the straight up 4.7 uh, trailer and then the events trailer as well. So we'll go with both of those. 4.7, y'all. Uh, An everlasting dream intertwined. I was ready to get straight into it. Paimon, would you join us and play Mar Shosei Hunter Judgment Day? Oh? 
Card game? Card battle? This script was adapted from the real history of the Maro Shosei Hunters. You all will play the role of hunters from a bygone era and resolve a series of events unfolding in the capital. Okay, sounds pretty cool. All right. Many of my habits are customs I've adopted from the Mara Shosei hunter tradition. I was they waiting for her. Monsters, while I fight against lawbreakers. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's law. Yacht. Her swordsmanship though is so crazy. Loaded. And then she also got a freaking ma uh, musket or not musket? Um, Time to whatever test whatever that gun is called, pistol. Is it just a pistol? I don't Madam know. Madam Mage says that every page of a storybook is a segment of the present. So vast and mysterious. There must be quite a story behind this place. Okay. So, Set those. I'll explore this place with you to the end. Let's never stop hoping for victory. All right. Nice little abilities. Electric bow you user. Not that I doubt your fighting. Nice work. Though, okay. So much more dangerous in there than I ever imagined. I forgot about her or her freaking giant well, syringe. Just let me know. And her bubble gun. Okay, ain't no way you smack somebody with a giant pill. Bubbles. I'll take the bubbles though. Bubble bubble ability seems kinda cool. And it's like a heart shape too, that's cute. Just relax. Okay. A strange disease. One I suspect that every Fontanian suffers from. Oh? But they don't trust me at all. Do you really think it matters whether I'm Melazine or a human? No! I don't believe Master would suddenly disappear for no reason. There must have been something she just had to do. In the new okay. world, they bade farewell to the Shrouded Sun. At uh, last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering, or try to differentiate between various thoughts of blasphemy. Such was the price they paid, and thus, their souls became cleansed and pure. Bro, what the heck? Oh, look at all of us. Sword. He must be a real Mara Shosei hunter. You used it yourself, didn't you? Bro. That's why you have a human appearance. That's quite the gamble. But I believe that I am the one walking into a trap. One day, I shall have my vengeance. This? That way, Captain Dainsleth could accomplish his own goal. Okay. My fate has already been completed. <laughs> Still can't get a word in, bro. This looks like it's getting absolutely crazy. But the pop Traveler, off here. let me ask you this. Oh. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? We're getting reunited in this one too. And who is this guy that's that's like connected with her? Is he like? You. Maybe he's like the one like the like manipulating everything behind the scenes, like the one that she's following, maybe, or the one that she's working with. I don't know. Oh, because, it, oh, this is going to be interesting. Looks like things are starting to pick up, like, you know, with regards to finding our, our sibling and, you know, maybe getting to find the answers finally about what happened, what went down, why that mysterious god came to attack us in the very beginning of the game, all that stuff. I gotta run back, like, midway through this, though. Suddenly disappear for no reason. There must have been something she just had to do. Master disappear. I don't know who they're talking about as master. In the new world. Look at this. What are we- where are we? How are we looking at planets right now? And what is this, like, rift in the middle? They bade farewell to the Shrouded Sun. At last. They no longer needed to dwell on their suffering, or try to differentiate between various thoughts of blasphemy. This Such darkness. was the price they paid, and thus, their souls became cleansed and pure. Souls cleansed and pure. And then right here, I don't know who it is that's waking up and seeing us, but look at all of us together. There's Furina, Traveler, Paimon, uh, I already forgot your name, but you a fire swordswoman, uh, Navia, and Liney, I think? Bro. The way he's holding his sword, he must be a real Mara Shosei hunter. He's a real Mara Shosei hunter, so it's a, it's, this is gonna be a little thing between her and him, it seems like, or at least like she knows about him, because like, the, I think there was like a history thing talking about like, uh, the Mara Shosei hunters during her character demo, if I remember correctly. You used it yourself, didn't you? That's why you have a human appearance. That's why you have a human appearance. 
who is he talking about? Is he talking about the, the Hiller girl right here that we're seeing on the screen? Or is he talking about Furina because she's an Archon? I don't know. Because then we go over to Furina afterwards and she has a sword. Is she talking about her? And I didn't even realize till now. Her eyes are different. Each of her, or each of her eyes are different, bro. That's quite the gamble. But I believe that I am the one walking into a trap. Bro, and then this sword? I don't know who's... Oh, is this the sister right here? Like the sibling? Is she And she's like confronting this dude maybe? Because of the, the, the outfit looks like it, I think. And this sword looks crazy, bro. Freaking divine, legendary King Arthur sword, bro. What the heck? One day. I want it. I shall have my vengeance. Vengeance against that who way, or what? Captain Dainsleth could accomplish his own goal. The loom of fate has already been completed. Loom of fate. <laughs> Traveler, let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Bro. This one, yeah, this one looks like it's gonna have a lot of lore and a lot of development possibly for like our, the siblings and their separation and like maybe who's the who's behind it or maybe who's like a part of it a little bit oh that's gonna be a lot of fun all right because i've already been watching all the other event things going on and this right here seems they've separated it so i wonder how they separated it and what it's gonna be like now uh we're gonna go ahead and do 4.7 again but this time it is the events overview let's see how they did it now okay events overview mutual security okay so it, it looks it feels like it's the same thing as before they just separated into a different video now. Okay. Mutual security, enhancing simulation. We're putting up defenses. Ooh, a little like a uh, tower defense game. Okay. I like it. Interesting. I wonder if you fight yourself as well or you only summon the uh, people to fight for you. It looks like you only summon them to fight for you. That's cool though. I've always been a tower defense person too. I may not seem like it, but like I used to play a lot of like dungeon defenders back in the in the day. Um, Orcs must die and stuff like that. Yeah, or I think that's how it was. Yeah, endless forms, most martial. Okay, body. I'm trying to see what does it say it's about? Looks like it's just fighting again. Record of reflective writing. Oh, okay. More coin collection. Mario Bros. again. I'm probably gonna suck at those events right there. With the flying and everything. Spinal Double Blaster. You're just popping a bunch of like balloons, it looks like. Imaginarium Theater. This one looks interesting. I like this one. This one looks like unique. I don't think we've seen anything about this one or like this one before. Alright. Best girl. Okay. I don't I don't know exactly what we're doing in this one though. I probably should have read it though. So okay, so this is gonna be like a storytelling type of event. And that's pretty much it. After that it's just a ley line overflow again. New weapons though. That's a sword? Oh, that's gotta be for the, the Maru Shose, uh girl. That sword looks like a, a like a rapier a little bit. Or uh, maybe not exactly. I feel like it would've been thinner if it was that. But it still looks dope. Honestly, it might be one of my favorite designs for the swords. This one, that golden one that we saw in the, in, during the uh, during the uh, the version trailer that we just watched. Um, and these bows. Yeah, these designs actually look really cool. They're probably one of my favorites, yeah. And that's it. Okay. All right, y'all. We've only got three more version trailers left, but we also got the events overviews for all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch those ones too. I might as well. Um, so I know what I, I know what you guys are up to right now, at the very least, with all these events. Uh, but we got 4.8 here, which is the last one before we go to Natlin, I believe, or Natlin. So it's a uh, Summertide Skills and Tales. Port Ormos is currently organizing a flower exhibition. Okay. That strange smell around here. Surround yourself with fragrance for too long, and your sense of smell will become dull. 
allow yourself to be consumed by your emotions and you lose the ability to think rationally. That's true! I'm I forgot! A perfumer from Fontaine. Yeah, I forgot about the perfumer character. So we get to see her towards the end of Fontaine, okay. Reconstitute! Alright. This will brighten up the place! I wonder if her abilities are like, you know, scent related at all. Or if it just straight up, you know, still act like physical action. The hero from another world, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to the world. Yo! The, the chubby paper hamster just talked! The chubby paper hamster? Morning. Huh? Huh? This is literally like a fairy tale. It, it wasn't just a dream? Yeah, but what? This, uh, Nickel Mata friend of yours. She doesn't eat hamsters, does she? Because <laughs> cats and mice, bro, okay. Grand Bazaar. Well, then I woke up just like this. Okay. <laughs> so this is what it feels like to ride a toy train. A train you on really water. Easy to please Navia. Dude, dude. Yo, okay. Aerial Express moving out. Oh, we're in the sky now. Oh, what? That's an Oh, this was kind of cool. If you actually expect me to answer them all, we'll be here until the next Interdarshan Championship. Oh, hat guy. To find the dragon responsible for this whole mess. What the heck? It's like he's a bit of a freaking, like, you know, story uh, uh, blocks. The dragon monster right there. Okay, this was like a little fun one. Nothing too crazy. I do want to go back real quick to look at uh, two things, I think it was. Or a few things, actually. <laughs> First off, this area right here looks cool. It, they say it's like a storybook type of thing, and it does feel like that too. Like, yeah, I, I, those children's, like, you know, building blocks, that's what it kind of reminds me of, the way, the way this is all, like, designed. Really easy to please, Navia. And then this right here, yeah, this literally just gives me, like, you know, like, like kids' storybooks and, like, story areas, all that stuff, type of vibes. Choo -choo. <laughs> Aerial Express. A Aerial Express, bro? Astro Express? Hold up, Genshin, what y'all doing? Hoyoverse, what y'all doing, huh? Y'all about to go ahead and merge the two worlds, Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail? Okay, let me chill, let me chill. <laughs> Moving out. Ooh, that's an adventure and a half. Do all storybook heroes have to work this hard? Yes, yes they do. They, every if single hero does. you expect me to answer them all, we'll be here until the next Inter-Darshan Championship. Yo. To find the dragon responsible for this whole mess. And the hat guy being OP like always. Okay. He does not fit into this group of characters. All of these characters are super like, you know, uh, uh, out there with their personality. They, and, they, and then hat guy just seems like really like, you know, dark into himself. <laughs> All right. On to the events overview. Let's see what they got in this one. This was towards the end of Fontaine. So this wasn't too long ago. Like, I would guess like this was probably like, a few months ago. Summertime scales and tails. Are we flying through the air? We're just getting all the balloons. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Uh, what in the world? Are we just grabbing all the people? Okay. Nice. Seems pretty easy. This right here is just a straight up fight in the domain. Always gonna have those in your action game. Otherwise, what's the point of being an action game? Are, is every character in the game usable, like in-game type of content, or is it like you have to have certain characters that are like meta or something like that? Like, who's the strongest characters right now in the game? Bing Bang Finchball. Is that supposed to be official, or I don't know? Okay. Outside the canvas, inside the lens. Oh, we've already had one like this. Do this chapter though, so it's a different one. So basically, you're just gonna keep having the photography ones in every single version. Love it, bro. Because I would love to take pictures of these areas. Energy amplifier, lemma. So it's gonna be another energy one, I think. And you're fighting. With certain like ab uh, ability buffs, maybe. And they get the perfume girl. Okay. And that's pretty much it, okay. The music in these is always like top notch. It will never miss.
Oh, new outfit for uh, Nilu and Kirara. Okay. I love the music of that one actually. That might be that might be one of my uh, top songs that I've heard. Uh, not like super crazy ones, but just like you know a vibe. Like I would listen to that uh, whenever I'm going somewhere or like driving around, maybe just to like you know just just to vibe out, you know. Once again, I am skipping past the shorts ones. Um, if I should go back and watch those, let me know. I'll do that in another video. Uh, but yeah, we're moving on to 5.0 now. Uh, so the other one for 4.8 was two months ago. This one right here is one month ago. So they're, they're literally releasing these updates every month. That's actually crazy that they're doing that. And that they're managing to do that for this. And they have like three other games that they're working on as well at the same time. I mean, they do have like, you know, different departments and like that, but that's still ridiculous. Uh, but we're on to 5.0 now, y'all. This is the new region, Nat one that apparently I believe all of you guys are on right now. And you guys have been saying that it's really fun and it's living up to the hype. It seems like it's really good, too. Um, let me know if it's Fontaine level, since all, everyone says that Fontaine is the best one so far. Is it on the level of Fontaine? So, let me know. But uh, this one here is called Flowers Resplendent on the Sun Scorched Sojourn. Starting off strong. Oh, the we area arguments don't. The final phase. The winner of this match will take the final spot among the victors. This is where all the melanin kicked in, bro. <laughs> this is where all the melanin in the in the game went. <laughs> We've arrived at the final phase. The winner of this match will take the final. I'm sorry. Spot I'm sorry. I gotta pause twice now. We've arrived at the. My man got the freaking locks on point. Okay, I see you. I see you, Hoyoverse. Final phase. The winner of this match will take the final spot among the victors. Okay. For a long time contender and first time finalist. Oh my gosh, this area looks dope. From this point forward, everything we know about the real world no longer applies. Huh? Anything can happen here. There's something in the depths of this place that feels familiar, yet also foreign. The pilgrimage Yo. is not merely a trial to determine the strongest among us, but also a stage upon which to showcase your individual growth. Who was that? Oh, we got Kanish. Hey, not only to select strong the warriors, pilgrimage, though. but also to collect contending fire from the battles. That land is only safe from the invasion of the abyss, while the sacred flame burns eternal. Sacred flame. Okay. So the pilgrimage is their little tournament going on. Hey, y'all said I could play as Kanish if I was to hop in the game right now and go ahead and, uh, and wish for him, I think. I think I'm about to do that, because his character is probably one of my favorites looking at to play. Okay. Guess I'll have to wait until the next pilgrimage. Look at the animals here. I'm still not sure why Arwaiup chose me of all people. It took the combined efforts of the then Pyro Archon the and dragon. Of every tribe to finally repel the abyss. Even so, the effects of the invasion lingered for hundreds of years, only able to be reversed little by little. Dang, that sucks. An overwhelming victory. The result was obvious from the beginning. Ooh. Oh, he breakdanced back there. I really want to win this time and become a true warrior. Okay, go for it then. Through our long history of fighting the abyss. We've realized things aren't quite so simple. The Abyss has invaded the Night Kingdom and has the capacity oh. to read the memories of this land at any given moment. Going there, the Night Kingdom? Only those who triumph over the Abyss earn the right to be revived. Defeat not only means death, but also the destruction of your ancient name, ghosts, preventing bro? it from ever being inherited again. You heard something from here, didn't you? Kinich, what is the meaning of this? Only one way to awaken you all from your willful blindness. More sacrifices must be made. Oh, we're no, fighting the dragon. Make your way forward. Why don't you just give up? You what what kind of creatures? I should have died five years ago. Take me as your next sacrifice. My man was pouring his heart that out for that. is on the verge of destruction. It's very possible our nation has less than a year before total devastation. Hold up, who Once is she? Once ancient name disappears, there's no coming back. I love her hair. No, why can't I find him? Why? What Every in the great world? Every great display of power comes at a price. <laughs> What are we running from, or two? Tragedy of your short lives. You understand nothing. 
Nothing of all encompassing power. We shall unite the tribes. Oh, this is gonna be fire. Man from its impending doom. Oh my gosh, look at us, bro. What use is the Gnosis in your hands? Back to the Gnosis again. I don't know what you mean. But it sounds like this is about more than the Tsaritsa. Your plan has reached an impasse, and now it falls to me to create new rules for Nava. Bro. People like us, let our flames do the talking! Flaming hair? Bro, we might have a contender. We might have a new contender for best girl. Hold up. Arlequino, you have a contender. I don't know. She seems like she's on the same level as Arlequino, bro. This is going to be insane. I got to find out more about her. But first off, let's go back because there was so much that was happening. The beginning was light. And then once we got like halfway through, it went to like a thousand, bro. There was so much happening that I just, I couldn't piece together in my head while also trying to to, to freaking commentate. Oh, let's go back and, and, and see this one again, bro. We've first off, first off, this, this is the arena I'm assuming, right? This isn't the whole area. This just looks like the arena only. This arena looks insane. Yeah, I can see there's like a bridge over there, the back left leading over somewhere else. A trail to the top right, and it looks like the entrance is from the bottom as well. Yep, yeah, this arena, coliseum, whatever, for the pilgrimage that they called it. Oh, this looks insane. We've arrived at the final phase. The winner of this match. All the melanin in the game went to this one location, bro. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Take the final spot among the victors. Give it up for a long time contending. And first time finalist. Yo. From this point forward, everything we know about the real world no longer applies. Everything that we know about the real world no longer applies. What the heck does that mean? I love the way that they opened this with that. Like, we start off with a little, you know, fun From uh, uh, pilgrimage going on. This point forward. And then they show this little scene, the, the little, uh, uh, the zoom out right here. With her saying that, it's just like, it gives me chills, bro. Everything we know about the real world no longer applies. Anything can happen here. There's something Yo. in the depths of this place that feels familiar, yet also foreign. Something in the depths that feels the familiar, but foreign. is not merely a trial to determine the strongest among us, but also a stage upon which to showcase your individual growth. Yo, I was not expecting that drop though. That drop was a little, a little, a little weak. I'm not gonna lie. The, the bop itself is cool. You know, the music is cool, but that drop was a, it felt a little weak to me. But anyways, look at her, bro. Potential, potential best girl. I don't know yet. I got oh, but she over here sitting on her throne. Look at her. On which to showcase your individual growth. The purpose of the pilgrimage is not only to select niche. strong warriors, but also to collect contending fire from the battles. Yeah, okay, okay. Contending fire from the battles. I don't know what that means exactly. Is that supposed to like charge the the flame they were talking about? Showcase your individual. Hold up, Kanish with his abilities like this. I love how he's glowing. Like I just that's just so interesting why he's glowing. I, I, it's just but it's cool. And then purpose yeah, him the traveling across like that. And then we got the drill girl right here. It's not only to select strong Just scaling freaking warriors, mountains apparently. But also to collect enemies. fire from the battles. And then we got the freaking uh uh the Taurus girl. I did not mean to pause right there, y'all. So we got the Taurus girl riding a shark. I'm trying to see where we are. I see somebody over there to the left as well. That land is only safe from the invasion of the abyss, while the Ooh. sacred flame burns eternal. Okay. Bro, yeah, I got, I gotta get Kanish. Kanish just looks so dope. Like I would never stop playing this game if I had it, if I had this character properly. Guess I'll have to wait until the next pilgrimage. I love the freaking like when we get the scenery with the animals. I feel like we haven't seen many animals in the game before until now. Is that the case? Like, 
right now is when we're seeing like the most animals like we're seeing like this like giraffe type of animal over here there was like some little squirrel things like following her and then i don't know what we see down there that's an enemy or an animal right there to like the bottom left ish right there or the middle bro I'm still this creature right here what are you and like is that like a tail you have or like what bro sure why are why have chose me of all people she says she's not sure why Wyub chose her. I don't know who Wyub is or what that is, but look at all these oh, creatures. Yeah. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm gonna love this place. It took the combined these little creatures, of the, the dragon. And heroes from oh my gosh, look at this scene right here, bro. Look at this image right here. Look at all those freaking giraffe looking animals. Whatever those little deer looking dogs, whatever are running over there on the prairies. The freaking dragon running through the middle. And this area, the greenery and everything, the trees, the, the plants. Oh, this place looks epic, bro. And then they're talking about the, it took the combined efforts of the Vin Pyro Archon. So it seems like a lot of these Archons are being replaced. So they're saying that the Archon from probably like, you know, hundreds of years ago, maybe, or whatever, repelled the Abyss. Every tribe to finally repel the Abyss. And the heroes from every tribe. So not even just the Archon. The, Ar the Pyro Archon wasn't enough alone. And the Archons are like gods, aren't they? So like, how the heck... They couldn't handle it by themselves. It required them plus the heroes of every tribe. Even so, the effects of the invasion lingered for hundreds of years. Hundreds of years is crazy. Hold up. I didn't even think about that. Imagine being like, we, we're at war for like, you know, a few years or maybe like 10 years or something like that in real life, you know, which is horrible. But a hundred or hundreds of years. Imagine never being able to get a wink of sleep without worrying about what's going to happen the next day with this war. Your entire life, pretty much. Good lord. Able to be reversed little by little. Our current Archon achieved an overwhelming victory. Oh. The result was obvious from the beginning. And my dude breakdancing back there. I really want to win this time and become a true warrior. Yo, hold up. Were those like walking I sharks, bro? I want to win this time and become a true warrior. Look at them, bro. What the heck? Like walking aquatic creatures, bro. Warrior. And there's like an alpaca looking thing too. A long history of fighting the abyss. We realized things Yo. are quite so simple. Things aren't quite so simple. It's never a quite so simple. Look at this area though. Oh yeah, this area they they just make every area look so vibrant and colorful, bro. It's insane. I don't know how you make it look you make all of them look like this like colorful and everything but you also still make them look so distinct and different. I don't know how you pull that off. Fighting the Abyss, we realized things aren't quite oh, look so at them. simple. The Abyss has invaded the Night Kingdom. Oh, and look at this area. Is this the Night Kingdom or is it somewhere else? I don't know. But this whole little like, uh, uh what would you call this? It, it, it's a town or like a city or a country, whatever, but like, is there a name for any of them that like hang on like the side of a cliff, like a cliffside city or something like that? Is that it? and has the capacity to read the memories of this land at any given moment. Look at the freaking potential best girl, bro. Her hair has got to be probably one of the most fire, no pun intended, hairstyles I've ever seen, bro. I don't know. Going there, the Night Kingdom? Only those who triumph over the Abyss earn the right to be revived. Defeat not only means death, but also the destruction of your ancient name, preventing oh. it from ever being inherited again. Bro. You heard something from here, didn't you? That's what they said right there. The but first off, where the heck is the Traveler at right here? Where is the Traveler at right here? And look at all of this. Like, are those... what Are, are these supposed to be like uh, uh, little souls? I, I don't know what the heck those are. Just rocks, maybe. Um, but he's saying only those who triumph over the Abyss earn the right to be revived. Is that... Uh, what is that supposed to be a reference to? Like, reviving the Archon or reviving the heroes, maybe? Or something like that? And then it says defeat not only means death, but also the destruction of your ancient name. So is ancient name referring, like, yeah, I feel like that would have to re refer to, like, the, the Archon, because, like, hundreds of years ago, or, like, the heroes, maybe, of, the, of like, the, uh, hundreds of years ago, but they're, like, maybe they have ancient names, I guess? And it says preventing it from ever being inherited again. So you would normally, like, you would, like, if you were to die, or, like, you know, or maybe not even die, but you would just, like, pass on your, your ancient name to, like, the next gen, you know, the next generation of, of people who are fighters, uh, like someone in there who's like the next, like the most powerful or something. But you can't do that if you die here. Okay. Being inherited again. You heard something from here, didn't you? 
Kinich, what is the meaning of this? Only one way to awaken you all from your willful blindness. And then he gets crazy. More sacrifices must be made. You'll die if you try to make your way forward. What are you bro, give up? What is this, bro? Lava creature? I don't know why I won't give up. It's like fire dragon, like a little a mi mini dragon though. Yeah, he, he had a full fledged dragon. <laughs> Still look menacing though. I should have died five years ago. Take me as your Bro. next sacrifice. Bro, they were. <laughs> Whoever was in the studio voice acting that part, bro, they was pouring their heart and soul into that one, bro. Five years ago. Take me. Look at this creature though. What the heck are you? As your next sacrifice. W voice acting. Natlan is on the verge of destruction. Oh my gosh, your hair. I could literally, like, like I could stare at your hair all day. Like, no, it, like, bro, I don't know. <laughs> I sound weird, bro, but like, look, y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean, bro. It's very possible our nation has less than a year before total devastation. Oh, Natlan is on the verge of destruction. It's very possible the nation has less than a year. Before total devastation. And are we in like a, a freaking volcano right now? What the heck? Or no, 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 no. That's not, that's not, that's, that's water, right? So maybe like hot springs area? Oh, it's actually, if that's a hot springs area, that'd be kind of cool. It's very. Natlan is on the verge of destruction. It's very possible our nation has less than a year before total devastation. Okay, Once that's not good. Once name disappears, there's no coming back. Yeah, that seems like a very dangerous thing. So maybe if you lose your ancient name, you can't be revived. Well, they say you can't be revived as well. Only those who achieve victory can be revived or something like that. So yeah, what the heck? And then look at this. Look at this team up right here. It's like everybody from uh, uh, from Natlan, bro, teaming up right now. We got the, the guide girl. We got the drill girl. I don't know who the person on the front left is. And I can't remember the person in the back. I, I know that you're one of the character demos as well, I think, though. No! Why can't I find him? Why? Yo! Every great display of power comes at a price. And the music! <laughs> that is the tragedy of your show. Oh, I love this! You understand nothing of all encompassing power. Of our short Tell lives. Like tribes and save Natlan from its impending doom. We gotta reunite the tribes and save Natlan, bro. What use is the Gnosis in your hands? Bro. I don't know what you mean. But it sounds like this is about more than the Tsaritsa. Yeah, we got we got we got three <laughs> we got three best girls in this game, bro. We got Candace, we got Arlequino, and we got Whoever you are, I don't know what your name is, <laughs> but we got you as well. I think that Candace might be the third, though. Candace might have to be the third here, though. It's between Arlequino and whoever you are. Your plan has reached an impasse, and now it falls to me to create new rules for Nala. So they're trying to oppose, like oppose her. Let our flames do the talking! And the flaming hair, bro. That gotta be like her power up, right? Bro. Nah. Natlin looks like it's about to pop off, bro. Dang, this is bright. Dang, bro. Alright, on to the next one. Oh, not the next one, actually. We're on to the uh, events overview for this area. Let's see what they got. Ooh, I like the little, uh, the, the way they, the style of it. Traces of artistry. Oh, it looks like they've made like the background like that, like the traces of artistry thing right there too. Okay. You're photographing capa ca capybaras. Okay. What the heck is that that we're fighting? Ooh. Oh, that looks like a lot of fun. Just racing down this thing a little bit, okay. Of thorns and crowns. W music choice too. We're fighting like some knights. Oh, they got bodied. Mementos of Tavat. It looks like we're back, that's back in Mondstadt, is it not? 
Okay. So we're just taking photos again. Nice. Camera position. Why is it camera with a K? There gotta be a reason for that. Dodoko's Boombastic Escapades. I think we've already seen one of these, right? So this is about to be like an improved one. Oh, this is like Bomberman! Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Y'all don't understand. Bomberman used to be my game when I was a kid. I played Bomberman a lot, and I would body people online too. Oh, I loved Bomberman! That's so, oh, that's so nostalgic. I love that. And that's it. Oh. Gift for a new horizon, a thank you. Brilliant Dawn daily login event. A quest to kindle ancient flames. Ooh, wait, who was it that we were looking at right there? Uh, okay, nobody, nobody from like uh, Fontaine or Natland that I've seen so far, okay. New artifacts and the new weapons. Okay. That was great, that was great. The, but the Bomberman type of game looked like it was my favorite one though. That, that just brings back so many memories for me and oh, it was so much fun back then. Oh my gosh. Okay, it is officially the last version trailer. Couldn't think of the word for a second. <laughs> it is the last version trailer though that they currently have out. In fact, this one just released yesterday. As we see, it says one day ago right there. It's kind of crazy. You know, the timing of this for me is perfect. So, yeah, it's the last one, y'all. Um, I hope y'all have been enjoying. Let's get into it. 5.1, the rainbow destined to burn. And this is what's coming up, right? Y'all haven't seen this yet, or y'all haven't played this yet. I've had concerns for a long time. Malika's plan needs too much time, and too many things can go wrong. Malika, so that's the person that was so, opposing her? specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. Mm, so this is a distress choices. signal for the masters of the Nightwind, so Auroron was indeed being threatened. Great Yo. Goal, Malika. We're already off to a rocky start here. Who is this? The character designs are going, are getting out of hand, bro. Bring it. The character designs are going crazy, bro. God dang. Oh, okay, get it, get it, okay. If she's trying to finish that ancient name, there's only one place she could go. Finish the ancient name? The soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. Music going crazy. In the event that a confrontation Bro. becomes inevitable, I'll stall the captain while you advance. And once you've learned the truth that the Pyro Archon Malwika would never willingly share with you, you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. The Pyro Icon and is named my Malwika. A land without the Lord of the Night, without the protection of the wolves, is doomed from the start. You presume too much. Humanity's Bro. survival is worth any price. Charge! Let's give them everything we've got! Straight up war! They must unite the tribes, bro! And only Malika's death can clear the dead. All I wanted was to see her again. My end will not come first, and I'm not giving up! If oh I my gosh! Die, Whatever it took to ensure their survival. Thin You've experienced something similar, Malika. You should know exactly what I mean. Bro, they've just outdone themselves. Like the 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 animation, the the freaking fighting, the characters, the designs, the colors, bro. The Oh, they've gone above and beyond on this one, bro. This one looks... In this area looks like it's going to be out of this world. Yeah, le definitely let me know what y'all think about Natland right now, or, or so far, or how good it is and everything like that. It looks like it's going to be promising. Let's run that back, bro. Let's run that back. There was a lot that happened. Too much for me to even I've get through in one or maybe even two rewatches. Concerns for a long time. Malika's plan so, is Malika 
the her name? That's my question. That's my first question. Is, is she the is she the pyro archon right now? And I'm not too sure. Too I don't know. Time and too many things can go wrong. So, specifics aside, the pyro archon confirmed the gnosis can resolve the crisis. But it comes at a huge price. Yo, what is this area right here? So something about the Gnosis. I, I still don't know exactly what the Gnosis is supposed to be. Um, even after getting a description of whatever it, whatever it was. But whatever it is, it's supposed to be able to resolve their current problem. But it will come with risks. So she's got to make a choice. This is a distress signal for the Masters of the Nightwind. So a Master of the Night Wind. And so we I don't think we've ever seen this character before. I don't know who you are, but you look pretty cool too. Oron was indeed being threatened. Is she skating on lava? For the masters of the night wind. Or over lava? So Auron was in like this look th this is lava, is it not? And she's just skating over it? Is like a barrier above it or something? Or am I or is this not lava? I, bro. Being threatened. And then this We're person. Going, we're already off to a rocky start here. Yo! Hold up. And she over here DJing too? That is fire. Yeah, I think she might be- uh, she might also be in contention. If she's trying to finish that ancient name, there's only one place she could go. His soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. Bro. Okay, hold up, hold up, because we're going to get into that drop. So, she said that she's trying to restore an ancient name or finish. So, maybe she's trying to create an ancient name? What? So, what is an ancient name, then? I got to find that out when I play. Uh, and then the soul is that his soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it becomes more fragile in the process. So, then if we... It's, um, if she makes the ancient name then and finishes it, then it's going to weaken uh, whoever this, whoever's soul they're talking about. Maybe the the, uh, the Archon? I don't know. I, I'm thinking that she's the Archon, but maybe not. By us and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. And we get this freaking beat drop in this freaking crazy, crazy boss enemy, bro. Look at the intergalactic enemy. It does not look like a normal, worldly enemy. I'll stall the captain while you advance. And once Whoa. you've learned the truth that the Pyro Archon Malwika would never willingly share with you, you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. They never willingly share it, so they're trying to convince us. For her, here and now. Okay, they said her. We have to make a decision for her here and now. So I feel like Malwika is the 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 flaming hair girl that we keep seeing. That seems absolutely epic. So maybe she, so I, th I think she is the Pyro Archon then. I, I might be wrong still, but that's, that's my current guess or assumption. We have to make the decision for her. Yo, look at us though. Kanish right here, bro, Kanish. Oh, I gotta see more of you. I gotta see more of you. Here and now. A land without the Lord of the Night, without the protection of the wolves is doomed. Bro, bro. The there's Lord. so much happening here, but like I ha like, there's so much to break down with this. What is happening here? Like the they're destroying this the sky the and something in the sky right dead. here. And then uh, bro, I don't even know what's happening. But they're saying a land without the Lord of Night, without the protection of the rules, is doomed. I don't know who either of those are, but okay. From the start. And then her over here skating. Oh, I got a blurry image, but you over here skating, bro, is fire. You presume too much. Survival is worth any price. Charm! What the heck is that creature to the right, bro? What are you? Let's give them everything we've got. Yo. Wait. Should we say that again? Natlon. Hold up. Give me a good scene, though. There we go. Looks good. Looks good. Uh, Natlon must pay the price, and only Malika's death can clear the debt. So, oh, that. I hope not. If if so, if I'm right and that's her, her name is Malika and she's the uh, the the fire the pyro archon, and only her death can clear the debt. I hope not. She looks too cool to die, bro. Death can clear the debt. The oh, heck I is that? See her again. My end will not come first, and I'm not giving up. Oh my gosh! I don't, is that her voice? I don't know whose voice is whose exactly all the time right here. But uh, bro, the flaming fish right here. She's holding the fist up, bro. 
and then she's just like, uh, uh, like she's holding the fist up, bro. The flames all coming in and converge. Oh my gosh, bro. My end will not come first. And I'm not giving up. My end will not come first. It's not giving up. I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. Oh my gosh. You've experienced something similar, Malika. You should know exactly what I mean. Yeah, this looks insane, bro. Like, they keep going, they keep going, b getting better and better and better. It just doesn't stop. Those of y'all who are probably gonna skip this, you know, ending part, so be it. I'm gonna go ahead and check out the events overview right after that. Um, yeah, that was incredible. That, that, I, all the beginning ones seem like they're the, like the 5.0, 5.1, um, 4.0, 4.1, all those ones like that, like the first two, always seem like the main parts of the story. And then afterwards, there's a bunch of, you know, side stuff to get to know a lot of characters and everything like that. And then you move on to a new area eventually. So, yeah. All of the first ones have been my favorites. 5.0 and 1, 4.0 and 1, 3.0 and 1. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, bro. I, speechless, bro. I have no words for them. They're just so good. But let's see what these events are for this one. Oh. Okay, Nihira. <laughs> oh, we got a tsundere, okay. Yo, okay, we got some Japanese acting. I think this is because there was a, a, a strike, right? I, I didn't, I hadn't seen anything about it because I hadn't been paying attention too much to some new stuff uh, recently at all. But uh, I'm assuming that this is like during a time with like the strike, I think, with like the voice actors, I think. So is Natlin going to have like a, a lot of parts of it be in uh, Japanese? This is Japanese, right? I think. Um, so is a lot of Nat is Natlin going to have like a Japanese portion of it where you have to have uh, subtitles on and stuff like that? Okay. Oh, why are they avoid me? Yo, okay. Paimon and Aida, they look like a freaking likely duo. That was cool. Okay. They just switched up the music immediately like that. Chromatic Ode of Candies and Roses. Alright, that was a little fun little mini game. Alright, we'll switch up. All calm and whatnot. I love how they always say this is under development and not indicative indicative of the final product, and it still looks this good. Okay, we're fighting over here in the domain again. Nothing too crazy so far or unique besides the first one we saw. Okay, here we go. Aphid treasure trace. Okay, don't know exactly what's happening here, but looks interesting. Yeah, look at Kanish and his abilities, bro. Yeah, he lo Oh, and the sword he has right now on his back? What kind of weapon? Oh, heck no, bro. And then what's, your, what's her name? Uh, Mualani. She seems pretty cool as well. Reminiscent Regimen Thrill. Looks like more fighting in a domain or something, or like a special event for fighting. Okay. Seem pretty cool. Feast of Pursuit. Uh, are we cooking? With the perfumer. We're just bodying some enemies here. Okay. Okay. Oh my, is that his burst? That's what they're called, right? They're called bursts, I think. Marvelous merchandise. We got the 80s dude again. Okay. New weapon, peak patrol song. Is that what Kanish had on his back, bro? Oh my gosh. Amazing. Absolutely amazing, bro. All right. I think it's fitting to end it off right here on this screen because good lord, Natlin looks like it is providing. It looks like y'all y'all eating good in this story, possibly. Um, like I said, let me know how y'all liking it so far. I will be getting started on this game sometime in the next like week or two and uh i'm gonna go ahead and do a few more reactions though let me know which animated shorts 
I should be looking for because I have not seen a trailer or not a, trailer, a playlist for all the animated shorts for this game. Um, so let me know where I should be looking for that at because I couldn't find it. I couldn't figure out where like a playlist for it was. Also, let me know what else I should go ahead and react to. Should I react to the character teasers as well? Should I react to the uh, the character's ultimate burst as well? Anything else? Because I'm I'm down for it. Natland just seemed like a lot you know more peak than the other areas. Anyways, enough talking, enough yapping. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all did, body that like button. Subscribe today as well if you haven't already joined the crew. Share the video with friends and family. Let's go ahead and get it out there, bro. Let them all have fun as well, seeing all these uh, different version trailers and how epic they are. And with that, I'll see y'all in the next video.